we have an orc, and his name is Stogrum, and this is the third part of his adventure. So where did we leave off? You know, interesting question. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we were in the northern reaches of Morrowind's desolate wastes. And if I remember correctly, I'm just getting my volume correct over here, we were hunting necromancers outside of Voss. But, ah yes, the, the bodies of cliff racers litter the path around us. The sign of a most excellent adventure. You know, much, much better dead than alive. And, and that is a fact that any Morrowind player <laughs> will vehemently agree with. So, as is tradition, getting back into Morrowind, we gotta read our journal. We gotta find out where we are, what we're doing, what we've been missing. So, I have been told that Sargon is located far north of Morgon and southwest of Voss, and that the trek there is very long. And we are looking for an outlaw named Nerer Binaran, who has a bounty on his head from the Fighters Guild. He is hiding in the cavern of Sargon. Why would you want to go there? Money. It's your business. You're darn right it is. Oh, that. <laughs> Anyone to see that mud crab take a, take a slide? All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one down because, you know, just free XP points, just just waiting to be had. So I think we cleared out this building. So let me actually step inside and take a rest before we head on because we are a little low on health and completely out of stamina. Uh, there are enemies nearby. Ooh, did they respawn? He did respawn. <laughs> Okay, next one. <laughs> oh no, this is an ancestral tomb. So we cleared out a, a uh, I mean, it must have been a different uh, different ruin on, on last stream. I'm pretty sure I can get through these two without needing to use a potion. Just gotta, just gotta land the shots. There we go. Rest until healed. And grab that sweet, sweet level up. So strength, obviously, two-handed, heavy armor build, slinging axes, slinging orcs. Uh, we are doing strength, we are doing endurance, and everything else can basically shove it. <laughs> um, where do we put these last two, though? Eh, probably in speed. I, I always feel bad taking the times one, the times one upgrades. I, I always have to, always have to grab the two. Make our work worth it, you know? Now let's see, to the southwest of Voss, and Voss is right here, so I'm assuming on this island, uh, right beside it, is where our quarry lives. You know, I I've, I've fought enough cliff races in my day, so if we can avoid these guys, you know, I wouldn't be too upset. Um, I think there's a slaughterfish after us, most likely. <laughs> when you're not walking on the water, and, and you hear those uh, drums start thumping, pretty safe bet that you got a slaughterfish uh, on your tail when you're playing old Morrowind here. Uh, got the, you know, scenic mushrooms up there. You know, my, my old college history teachers, you know, would be beside himself with excitement right now. Um, let's see. He was a bit of an interesting character, uh, just going on on that story. Bit of a uh, leftover hippie, had a nice, nice long ponytail. Probably knew a couple Grateful Dead songs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, there's Voss, off in the distance. Oh, this one's diseased, so we're gonna have to kill it quick. There we go. And, you know, bloodthirsty orc here, just... Then in the herd, grabbing that XP where I can. I do have a potion of water walking, so that should make this journey much better. Um, I bought it after one of my lovely viewers pointed out to me how terrible slaughterfish are. And yeah, they're they're you know they're pretty horrible. 
<laughs> they're not fun to fight. Uh, they're not very visually interesting. And then there's like, they attack you in, in herds or packs of like a thousand. Well, we are going to use both. <laughs> Did you, hear, you heard it. <laughs> the slaughterfish already knew we were there. As soon as we hit the water, they were after us. You know, we may have to we may have to uh, fend off a couple here. Can't can't quite make it to the shoreline. Oh, yep, there's one. Oh no. Oh no. All right, one down. Oh, there's his uh his mate. Backing his buddy up. You know, at, le at least he's loyal. At least he's loyal. Ooh. I cannot land this last hit. There. One more. There we go. Okay. Okay, disaster avoided. We only had two. That's that's much better than it could have been. Nothing more demoralizing than seeing about ten slaughterfish coming out of the fog. You know, chasing you down. Smelling that sweet orzimer flesh. <laughs> Little do they know they will meet their end on the blade of my axe. All right, okay. Well, he just looks pitiful here. I gotta, you know, gotta clear him out. Still pretty low levels, so any, you know, any combat that I can take safely, I pretty much want. Uh, Lani, how long have I been streaming for? I just started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope Ozzy is, is well today. Oh, that cliff racer is stuck. And, I, yeah, I've only been streaming about, mm, ten minutes? <laughs> Five minutes? So you are, you are bright and early. You know, if, if he just wants to sit there, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be on his case about it. If, if that's where he wants to live, he can do it. So I'm assuming that right there is our quarry. Because we are trying to find Sargon and continue the quest that we were doing at the end of last stream. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm glad you made it early too. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have you in chat. Oh, did he find us? Oh, he finally found us. I, th I thought you wanted to live amongst the mushroom, Mr. Cliff Racer. Okay, we are we are not getting the hits today. The the dice rolls have not been in our favor. <laughs> oh, and we already have a slaughterfish too. I I shouldn't have mentioned uh, taking all the combat to level up because now, now the game's gonna be like, oh, you wanted combat. Let me let me give you some combat. <laughs> How are you doing today? Did you have a nice weekend? It's is it already is it already Monday in Australia? Right? Ahead ahead of us? Not behind. Oh, and we we have to kill his baby too, sadly. Well, I say sadly, but a baby slaughterfish is a future normal slaughterfish. So it's not really that sad that we had to kill them. It is 9.05 Monday morning. Ah, very nice. Well, happy Monday. I hope the Monday morning blues haven't hit you too hard. I know I had a pretty bad case of those this past week. Some, something about Mondays, man. Clocking in for work. There is no greater pain. <laughs> there is no greater pain. And I, and I used to play rugby, so I know a thing or two about pain. We're going to grab a save. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is bad, because we don't have an enchanted weapon. I did get a number of... Okay, I did buy a number of damaging spell scrolls. Oh man, I forgot to... I totally forgot to get that enchanted weapon that I mentioned. Are we in the correct spot though? I need a I need to find a marker. 
Oh, it's a public holiday. Well, there you go. You just got a Sunday 2.0. Right, wh what are these people doing just chilling with the scamps? Tassilus Bertilius. Uh, Thunmund. We are looking for Nerare Bineron. I wonder if they know anything about that. I heard there's been some trouble up at Force. <laughs> wow, I, I, I was reading her dialogue and went for a very deep voice. Uh, that's probably not correct. Uh, I heard there's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Solstheim. Don't I know Solstheim. You're on your honor. I know Solstheim. You know, I really want to do the Solstheim DLC in this run because in. On the on the Larry playthrough, we only ever we only ever did Tribunal. This this may just be a ruin. Like this may just be an outcropping because there's no door and it's not a marker on the map. So I'm gonna grab a grab a quick save, but I think we're just gonna head over there. You know, I, I haven't gotten a marker, and we are looking for a marked location. So so we we are gonna take the quick swim over here. Uh, it's Labor Day, so just relaxing. Woke up at 1 a.m. last night. Oh, no. So living the dream. Okay, that's rough. I hope you haven't... I know you said it's 9 a.m. I hope you haven't been up that entire time. That that sounds brutal. <laughs> All right, let's, let's cut down this other slaughterfish. One-shot kill. Thank you very much. All right. How long until we get another one? Let's take some bets. I'm betting five seconds. Knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, you went to sleep at 2 p.m. Yeah, so still got a good sleep. Yeah, yeah, that is actually... That's a good number of hours. If you went to bed at 2, uh, you know, that's probably about 13 hours, right? That's 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 more than I get. I'm a chronic undersleeper. For sure. Ooh, come on, let's land this last one. There we go. Man, if only I could make those slaughterfish scales into armor, I'd be fully kitted out. <laughs> It'd be like uh having having an alligator purse or something. Oh, the real MVP. The cave rat. Or I guess just uh, just the normal rat. <laughs> Excuse me. I should not have assumed his home. Oh man, I just gotta run away from these scamps. I don't want to burn our spells on them unless they are in the uh, in the area where we we have to kill our our outlaw that has his bounty. So I'm gonna ignore them for as much as possible. Man, there is no door anywhere. Oh no, <laughs> and there's, there's like 50 scamps. Uh, you usually go to work on six or so hours. See, that's, that's about me. See, I'm terrible like that. <laughs> and then you get to Friday and you're like, why do I feel so? Horrible. It's because you had no sleep all week, man. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Well, we still have not found this place. It's southwest of Voss, so maybe we head up this island this way. You know, that'd probably be the best. Yeah, it has to be. Has to be enchanted. So. Just, uh, I was just making sure I remembered correctly. Hashtag no sleep gang. That's that's right. Welcome. <laughs> Stay a while. Hashtag no sleep gang. It's so bad. I, I'm terrible. I'll, I'll, I'm the I'm the kind of person who gets in my bed and feels tired and then sits on their phone for another two hours, just like doing random things. Check an email. Oh, and I'm terrible about that too. I'll wake up and immediately check my email and. Oh, 
bad start. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is the place. Sargon. We've done it. Excellent. Okay. Well, that must be him right there. Oh my god. No time to prepare. Uh, okay, take a health potion. You know, I'll just pop two. How safe do we want to play it? Cause we don't we don't know who this guy is. You know, we don't know what he's what he's throwing out. Okay, he doesn't hit too hard, but he takes like no damage. Okay, uh whoo. Scroll of vitality. We may need that. Just try and tank through it. Oh yeah, I can't read. I <laughs> I always do that. Oh, is it not going to be enough? Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, this guy, this is the first guy who actually like came to play. Okay, now we kind of, kind of got, ooh, okay, okay, I don't want to cut it that close. I'm, I don't want to cut it that close. Uh, let's berserk, actually. That That's probably, no. oh, I should have done it earlier. Remember, zero, yeah, zero deaths. <laughs> Lonnie, you, you've you've seen you've seen my mage playthrough. <laughs> zero zero deaths is not my mo. There we go. Okay, well he staggered us, which is well that should work if he doesn't immediately stagger us. <laughs> okay, okay, Th this is the, this is the one I can already tell. I can already tell. All right, we're gonna lead with the vitality and the health potions, and then we should probably get our fatigue back. Um, exclusive restore speed, paralyzation. Here we go. You know, actually land some, actually land some shots on him. All right, here we go. All right, have at the fool. Man, he take he is about as tanky as I mean, about as tanky as we are. That's pretty insane. Oh man, Th this is just the battle of titans. This is. <laughs> This is like, you know, Godzilla versus uh, uh, what's what's the one with the three heads? Just slugging it out. Tokyo's in shambles. People are screaming. We've got we. I mean, we've got them on the ropes now. We just needed our fatigue, but. I love. One more. Uh, Bang. First try. <laughs> Alright, he had some nice armor though. Whew. That was that was something, for sure. We will take all the armor. Um, iron broadsword, 12 to 30. That's not super exciting. Let's grab a quick save. Want to make sure we don't do that again. Uh, the combat will never get old. <laughs> That's right. Have fatigue or die. That is that is definitely a fact. Well, see, I would have loved to have rested right before I walked into this dungeon, but uh, that scamp had followed us, so that was not on the menu. That was not on the menu. Oh, we have another one? Oh, no. 
did she just do? Ha Ian, welcome. Good evening. You joined just in time for us to meet the most badass Dunmer woman in the world. <laughs> How have you been, Ian? I hope you've been well, man. Welcome back. You know what? We may we may have to uh, we may have to rest on this one. I don't, I don't know if we can. Uh, I don't know if we can force through this. I mean, we're only level three. Uh, why is our strength debuffed right now? Oh man, what say you, Lonnie? What do you think? One more try, one more try, or or call it. I'm wondering if there's a way around it. Was that the person, the rare Veneron? Was that them? Because I don't think that lady is the the person we're after either. Try. <laughs> okay, okay. No, this is Gavesu. Arellis. Okay, let's 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 take a different approach. You know, let's let's go down here and and see what happens into the sewers. Maybe we can sneak up on them. Uh, I've been great, and I figured out how to mod Morrowind and Daggerfall Unity. Awesome! I am so glad to hear that. Mo you know, got it. Got to do some mods. As as a Bethesda lover, you know, mods mods are half the fun. Although I always play a game on my initial playthrough, uh, I try and go completely vanilla. Suh, don't cry. What is going on? Man, I remember you were, uh, you were moving, right? Are you, are you already out in, uh, I believe Mexico? Oh, breath, breath. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay. Remember to breathe. Every uh, viewers remember to breathe. Fun fact. <laughs> it will make you live longer. That slaughterfish definitely has nothing on me because he's glitched out. <laughs> I mean, but hey, we'll take it. We've fought enough of them already. Uh, the only mods I have are the Marwin Code Patch and Tamriel Rebuilt. What is Tamriel Rebuilt? I'm actually not familiar with that. Oh man, was this path a red herring? Was this a... Uh, just a ruse? There's nothing here. There's not even a chest at the bottom. Todd Howard. Don't play me like that. Oh man, what a what a letdown! <laughs> oh well, I mean we can keep I, we can keep going this way I guess. I I see I see a cave like this in Marwind and I immediately think there's gonna be a you know a chest somewhere at the bottom. Yeah, I went to Mexico for six months and it was stupid. Oh no, <laughs> now I'm back in the U.S. because of the quarantines. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll. That certainly put a damper on a lot of the traveling. Well, I, you know, I hope your time there wasn't only stupid. And we are back where we started, so. Or, no we're not. Oh no, the glitched armor. Glitched armor inbound. If this one shots us, I, I think we may have to uh, wait. Yeah. I think level three is a little ambitious for this dungeon. <laughs> okay, well, we gave it the old college try. Um, Tamriel we built is a project where they slightly rebuilt the base map and extended the map to mainland Morrowind instead of just Bardenfell. Oh, I think I have heard about that. Never played it, so you have that on me. Uh, but I think I have heard of that. I think we're just gonna divine intervention out. We may, you know, we we need a we need a rebase line. Grab ourselves a, a different quest. Let's actually alms CV here. 
Oh, I always grab it. I mean to mean to do this. There we go. All right, back at it. Um, who? Okay, what do we go after now? We need a we need to find a new quest. Maybe we just advance main. Uh, for the moment. The buoyant armager. Oh no, that's the lady that accidentally died. Well, she didn't accidentally die, <laughs> but she was killed during our quest, which was not great. Um, Androno ancestral tomb. Track down Nelos. Options quests. Uh, ooh, Sleepers Awake. I believe this is. Tall figure spoke to me. It was for alive. Tried to cry out, but my tongue was held in vain. I'm trying to remember where we were in the main quest. Uh, Gromusgob Informant. Ah, here we go. So I've done a little errand for her. She wants me to retrieve the skull of Lavella Andrano from Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Okay. So we need to go back to Balmora. So many women in Mexico. Three phone numbers a day. Wow. Well, I mean, you are, you are a very athletic man, so I'm sure that helps as well. <laughs> if you want an omelet, that breaks my eggs. That is a fact. Ooh, we gotta go, what, Sedanine? Sedanine and then to Balmora? I guess that'd be the fastest way there. Right? I gotta reorient myself to the wonderful map of, of Marwind. And there we go, Balmora. Uh, I haven't left Vardenfell yet due to my low level on my current playthrough. Oh, did they, did they like, scale it? Um... Is it is it like an end game area? I know I was speaking to another another viewer the other day. We got to go towards Pelagiad, right? Andrano ancestral tomb. Um, I was speaking to another viewer, and they were talking about how how Morrowind multiplayer scales the difficulty based on how many people are based on how many people are in your game. Which I, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Moosegab Informant, Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Mm -hmm. You'll have no problems recognizing it. Okay, that doesn't really tell us. Trades favors for information, and as the new recruit, I have to provide the favors. Next, uh, it is south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sedanine. And southeast to Vivek. Okay. Just making sure before we walked off that we were going to Pelagiad. I wonder if it'd actually be easier to walk from Sedanine. That may be a better idea. Because it's kind of at that crook in the road. Um, so that actually may be a better idea. We make a special trip. Just uh, what mods do I play. have? I am just using the Marwind graphics and sound overhaul. It's like a package of a bunch a of different uh, graphic you. mods and sound mods, as the name would suggest. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, good old Nick's Hound. That this is a little more in our wheelhouse right now than uh, boosted Dunmer, boosted Dunmer women, one-shotting us with spells. <laughs> Uh, the mainland of Marwind is not fully done yet. It is still in development and is not estimated to be complete until 2030. Whoa. That's a that's a really scary timeline, man. Can't even lie. My computer can't run these fancy graphics. Oh. Yeah, my my computer for a very long time could not could not push the graphics overhaul. But luckily, I, w I upgraded a number of years ago. I remember I, I used to play this on my, family, my family's computer. We had a white, I think it was a white, compact 
desktop. And I played vanilla Morrowind in our basement. <laughs> and there is Androno. Okay. Ah, the good old days. Simpler times. I would... I. You used to play on the original Xbox when you were 8. There you go. That'll do it too. I actually, I, I lucked out because we had that, that computer. Uh, because I did, I actually never owned an original Xbox. We were a, we were a uh, Nintendo family. For the, the, until the Xbox 360. I only ever had Nintendo uh, systems and consoles. Uh, do I need any of this? I mean, I'll, I'll hit something. I I think our strength was down two points, but other than that, not a big deal. Still a minor, so I don't have a lot of options for jobs. I have a job I'm applying for soon, and I'm going to save up for a decent PC. Sounds like an amazing idea. I have an original Xbox copy of Morrowind. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah, it, it, is, always, it is always tough. Being at your your parents' mercy, uh, trying and trying to update upgrade desktops. That is for sure. I knew the struggles well. <laughs> I'd always oh I oh I you know I I need this uh, I need the process I need the one with the better processor for school right. <laughs> it would never work. <laughs> There's the skull. Dagger of judgment. That thing is terrible. So I think we actually cleared this place out on another playthrough, and I just missed uh, the skull. So we are we are closing the doors now. Uh, I'm getting a custom PC soon. Just got to get the parts. But I'm excited to run Morrowind with some mods finally. Yeah, it is it is definitely awesome when you install you know this and then load it up for the first time. It's like what you know it, it makes you makes you feel like you're playing oblivion or like vanilla skyrim or something in some parts uh, i just play vanilla on my laptop well there is nothing wrong with that because it is still a great game regardless uh you use your mother's toshiba laptop oh my gosh i also had a toshiba laptop uh back back in my day had a toshiba satellite with like an i3 or something when that came out. I could barely run Marlin. But I did and it was it was glorious. It was glorious. And Baldur's Gate 2, I used I used uh I played Baldur's Gate 2 and Marlin on my Toshiba satellite. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> Mom, I need Mom, I need a 2080 Ti and an 8-core i9 for my online class. <laughs> Only 3,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, Zoom, Zoom is a very taxing program, right? <laughs> you, 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 you're not going to be running Zoom without multiple threads. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, back to Balmora. Errand complete. Where would you like to go? I would like to go complete this quest. I had a 6K Alienware laptop that was neon blue for 3D rendering. You missed that beast. Oh man, uh, what made you what made you decide to get rid of it? Was it? I mean, was it just too big? I know, I know those uh, gaming laptops are hard to keep up, for sure. I, I, I believe this lady worked for the Guild of Mages. Three D wind what rendering. Do you need? That is pretty intense. Don't cry. What what exactly were you rendering, uh, my friend? Uh, I have it somewhere, but the motherboard melted. Ah, uh, the thermals. <laughs> you know, Alienware laptops are not known for their uh, thermal stability. Okay, so uh, is this the errand you're doing for me? Yes, very good. I'll take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now. 
As I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nereverine cult. So go ahead. Okay. This Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the, prof the prophesized Nerevar will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Outlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire law outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for imperial or temple law. Take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Will do. And I know the rest. Not off the top of my head, but... <laughs> uh, you worked in industrial design. Wow, that's very intense. Uh, d yeah, don't, don't get it twisted, guys. Totally not. You know... Totally not. I just want these... I just want these skulls... <laughs> for for uh, research into... Alchemy. <laughs> she's doing restoration magic, guys. She's something. she's restoring the... Uh, I don't know why I'm going to Aedas. I need to go to Caius. <laughs> She's she's restoring the body, you know, that the skull was meant to be a part of. Totally innocent. My friend has an Asus uh, ROG laptop, and the fans are so loud. Oh yeah, I had uh, in college I had a, a Lenovo Y50, I think, and man, that thing would get loud uh, under load. <laughs> It sounded it sound like it was taken off. Like, like it, was, it was about to break the stratosphere. E, you know, Elon Musk, you know, heard a competitor whenever I turned that thing on. <laughs> uh, my fans were loud as anything, and the case would burn your wrist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a fickle laptop. Are you here to discuss your orders, Stogram? Yes. Uh, these are Sharn's notes on the Nereverine cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Stogram. I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders. Well, we want the orders, because we've, we've already been doing a lot of freelance adventuring anyways. <laughs> it would burn my wrists if you typed anything, but man, it was awesome. Uh, well, don't cry. I'm glad you enjoyed, I'm glad you enjoyed it, even with the uh, drawbacks. So I thought it over. And I want you to interview three informants in Vivek City concerning the Reverine and the Six Houths. First, I want you to speak with Adhiranir, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Marag Tong. And finally, I want you to speak with Meira Milo, a Temple Priestess. I've written the details down so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. I'm all yours, please. I like I like that my man Caius knows knows how things go. He's it, it, it's not here's two hundred drakes for food. It's here's hundred here's two hundred drakes for bribes. <laughs> you know Ca Caius has been around the block. He knows that money talks. <laughs> when I played Morrowind as a five year old, I named my character Poopy Butt and ran around killing everyone. <laughs> That, that is a humble beginning for sure. I remember, I remember when I first had it. I was I was terrible, like. I know I've, I've already told it a million times, but I always I got stuck in the census office for like an hour, on my first playthrough and quit and like never came back for a while. And then I did come back, and everything just killed me. I didn't understand any of it. And I remember. The only way I could get anywhere in the game was playing, uh, was like using console commands. So I would spawn all these weapons and armor in. <laughs> That's like the only way I could uh, get anywhere in the game. I want to see if we can pick up a quest for the Mirag Tong here. I, I don't think I did any of their quests in our last playthrough. So let's, you know, let's see if we can, uh, so we can do some, do some dirty for the Mirag Tong. 
Ancient Traditional Assassin's Guild. We provide three varieties of execution, public, private, and house war. We only recruit candidates of proven skill and honor, and only Grandmaster Inohlalu and Vivek can authorize that. Okay. So, we need to go to Vivek anyways. So, we'll, we'll handle that side business there. Uh, Lani, I was always a Khajiit or an Argonian, and I would just steal stuff and sell it and buy pretty clothes, and I would never do any quests. <laughs> I, I was eight, though. <laughs> I like that. That, that. You know, that's that's not a bad way to live for, for a Khajiit or an Argonian. I'm going to pop into pretty much every weapon store and just look for an enchanted axe. Uh, nothing here. Get rid of all this bone mold that we took off that guy. I really need an enchanted axe. That's that's come back to bite us so many times. Uh, I was a Breton, no, an Argonian. And I thought they looked like dinosaurs and I loved it. Nice. Uh, you're currently playing a wood elf, Moxman. Most excellent. Most excellent. I So I, I bought Oblivion on my computer for the first time. I only ever had it on 360. Uh, see, that's a long blade. But my thoughts for Oblivion was to actually try and do the... Try and do a Wood Elf Archer. Because I'd never, I've never done a pure marksman. You know, I've done the cheapo... No, I, I don't want to say cheapo. I don't want to hate on any play style. Uh, but I, I've done the default to sneaky archer in Skyrim, you know, a number of times. But it never meant to start there. So I want to I want to start as an archer and then finish the game as an archer as well. And in, in one of the Elder Scrolls, I just haven't had a chance yet. We're going to save and then we're going to go to Vivek just in case we crash. We make a special trip just for you. Special Same trip. Low, Excellent. Thank you for the special trip. You know, all these mushrooms around, you can take another kind of special trip. <laughs> Whoa. Old Morrowind. <laughs> I'm buying Oblivion soon. Uh, getting 35 bucks for the work around the house. Sweet. That is awesome, man. Yeah, you can get Oblivion on the cheap. Um, I mean, uh, you can get it super cheap now. I especially physical or on on a steam sale if, if uh, the laptop can run it you can you can pick it up for practically nothing these days so there's an enchanter somewhere in here and I would love to talk to them about enchanting my axe I will listen out there because the unenchanted axe just ain't cutting it no more does everyone want to see a neat little Easter egg that they may already know about? <laughs> I didn't know about this for 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 forever, so I, I'm just gonna show it. We have nothing to do in Jobasha's rare books, but okay, normal bookstore, right? Totally normal. Look at the plant, Charles the plant. With ectoplasm? No, meteor slime. <laughs> yes, the plant, exactly. So I looked I looked into this, and this this is a reference to Lucas Arts old school games, uh what was it, like Mysterious Manor or Murder Mansion or, or some something along those lines. And there was a character in that game named Chuck the Plant. And the developers who were making Marwin just happened to like those games and wanted to put Charles the Plant in the game. <laughs> So a, f a fun, you know, just a fun little random Easter egg. I got so excited when I found that out. Speak, traveler. I, I don't know why, but I, I love freaking Charles the Plant. That's awesome. Man, where's the Enchanter? Are they over here on the left? I could have sworn they're on in this uh, area. I should. There we go. Fresh game. Ooh, enchanting. Let's see if we can just buy something. Is it all going to be long blade? 
Short blade, short blade, long blade. Oh, don't make me. Don't make me cry. Don't cry, wolf. Really, don't don't cry, streamer, because they don't have what you want. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man. Okay. Well, the prey do we have enough money to just put, like, a really lame thing on it? Oh, we have no soldiers. Okay. Can we buy one? Can we buy a filled one? Probably not. No. Is there one of Soul Trap so that we can keep this in mind? There is not. All right. Well, it was worth a shot, right? It was worth a shot. I'm going to keep looking. Worst comes to worst, we grab a long blade there just because it's one of our... I think it is one of our major skills, actually. Yeah, even though we're trying to fully devote to axe. Well, sad face on that one. Uh, did we get a note? Is that what it was? Did we get a note with who to talk to? Yeah, mission to the back. There we go. In Vivek, look for these three persons and get them to tell you what they know about the Nerevarian cult and the Six Health cult. Each owes a favor, and each should be willing to cooperate. Adhere near is a Khajiit, and she won't be easy to find, but ask around the St. Olms Canton. Okay, St. Olms, be careful what you say. Awesome. Hulia is an Argonian and a Marag Tong assassin. Look for him in the foreign quarter at the Black Shulk Corner Club. Okay, that's right over there. And then Mayra Milo is a temple priestess, and you can find her in the libraries at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. Awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is the Black Shulk right over here. Yep. My memory serves me correct. Uh, 20 on Steam for all the DLC. Even the armor. That's the kicker right there, you know. Well summoned by another. Can't Questions can't play Oblivion again. without the horse armor. <laughs> Alright, Hulia. Uh tell me. Tell me about that good old Nereverine cult. Uh Soul Simon. The sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Maragtong honor to slay them, and I don't want trouble. My friend Sarilus Galmus by fighting in his club. But I must go to my friend's bookstore where we can talk in peace. If you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. If you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there must be bloodshed. Okay. I remember this. Yeah, the filthy lizard. Don't talk to my good old Argonian friend that way. Well, he's expensive. Ten won't work. How about a hundred, buddy? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. He can stay here forever for all I care. Not my problem. Awesome. All right. Now, let's, let's talk about... Let's talk about that. My friend Jobasha the Khajiit has a bookstore. If you will agree to travel together with me there, I will answer your questions. But before I go, I beg you to persuade them to leave us alone. I did. Let's travel together. Follow me. Thank you, Stogrum Blackhammer. I will follow you to Jabasha's rare books. All right, there we go. Yes, Alvin. Yep. Nothing to yes, see Alvin. here, guys. What do you want? Just uh, saving the day. <laughs> When was the last time you played Morrowind before this orc? It was, uh, it was my, okay, it was not Larry, but that was the last time I played a lot of Morrowind. I'd played intermittently, uh, between, you know, quickly, the, like, Larry in this playthrough, but really the last time was playing Larry, playing that mage. Um, I had another fighter that I kind of played for a couple hours. That was named Glimthy, the Nord. <laughs> but this is the first time I've seriously played it uh, since that playthrough. All right, thank you very much. We should be free from distraction. I said I'd tell you about the cult so you can report back to Caius, and I don't know of any Six House. Okay. 
Uh, to understand the Nerevarine, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nerevar means something very different to the Ashlanders from what it means to the Dunmer. You should also know about the persecution of the Nerevarine and the legacy of the false incarnate. For the Nerevarine cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunmer. Okay. Well, I will click through all this and make sure that we get this quest update. And it looks like we have, so thank you very much, sir. Hulia hadn't heard of a six health cult, but he knew a lot about the Nereverine. He gave me notes to give to Caius. The main thing I gathered is the temple's conflict with the Nereverine cult is tied up with ancient grievances between the Ashlanders and the Great Houses. Okay. Awesome. Sounds like a loose unit. <laughs> what do you mean? What I'm not familiar want? with this terminology. Um, let's check upstairs, because I think there is someone who sells, arm, like, weapons up here, so I just want to, just want to make sure we're not passing up any enchanted axes. I believe it is this Khajiit. Nope. Oh! Oh, it's one-handed. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, here, we have to make the call. We have to make the call. Do we, do we go long blade, or do we stick with the axe? What are we, what are we thinking? Stick with the axe, okay. Well, we'll we will, we will break, we will break our uh, two-handed and, and grab the axe. As a backup, in case we need to use an enchanted blade. My rights. Ordinator. Okay. Uh, we need to go to St. Olm's now. Do some talking. Do, do, do. Uh, it, where is the... Oh, I think it's over on this side. The canoe over here. Yep. The wonderful aqueducts of uh, Vivek. <laughs> the ch yeah, the chat got mod checked. The Australian has yeah, slipped out. Yeah, uh, us, us Americans have a different relationship with the word for sure. All good, though. Um, I think Arena is kind of the main area. Where's that slave? I played I played a couple matches uncle. of rugby with some Aussies when I was over there, and oh man, hear a lot of things set out on the pitch. Saint Olms, Canton. I'm trying to remember where that is. Maybe we just travel around until we find it. Well, we can go to the temple in the back and meet with Mara, and then we can kind of work our way back. I, th I think that's the move. I think that's the move. Oh, look at these beautiful statues up here. Another wonderful night. So she is in the Hall of Wisdom, I believe, hiding in the back. Yeah, Aussie guys are genuinely vulgar. They are. <laughs> they uh, make for an interesting time, though. That is for sure. Good old Aussies know how to... Speak, traveler. Oh, here she is. Know how to have a good time. Yes, I'm Mayra Milo. Kaya sent you. Follow me to the back of the library. We can't talk here. Okay. I'm following. Uh, intention behind words is certainly important. All about context. I'm going to talk to the back of her head now. Go ahead. I'm afraid I don't know anything about a six house cult, but I can tell you about the Nereverine. Okay. The temple worships Nerevar as a saint and hero, but prophecies of his reincarnation are punished as wicked heresy. The Nereverine cult claims the tribunal are false gods, hence the persecution of the cult. A group called the Dissident Priests disputes temple doctrine on the Nereverine prophecies. The prescribed books 
Progress of Truth describes their belief. Get a copy of this for Caius Cosades that will tell him things he needs to know about the Nereverine cult. Okay. Uh, we have a copy here, but I fear I'm being watched by the ordinators. A safer plan would be to search local booksellers. Some booksellers ignore temple bans on outlawed books. Okay, so I think we can just go back to Jobasha, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Just making sure we got all the updates. Don't need a don't need to read about Almalexia and Sothasil and Vivek yet. Good. I am back. What did I miss? You missed us uh, interrogating people. <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy. Oh. Not now, Outlander. Excuse, Head excuse on. me, sir. Okay, like, let's take a moment to appreciate how awesome the armor looks in graphics overhaul, though. Like that is wild. Hats off to the hats off to the mod team. Speak, traveler. <clears throat> I remember one time, I actually I had a member of the the team that made Daggerfall Unity in the stream when I was streaming Daggerfall Unity, and that was super cool. I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, hats off to you, man. The the time and effort that was put in, you know, put into stuff like that, not not for profit, just just for the love of the game. That's insane. Yeah, I'm, you know. Bethesda certainly has a community like like no other in that regard. Let's find out where this Khajiit is hiding. Let's see. Stogrum. Uh, let's look for Atiranir. Never heard of her. Nope. Absolutely certain. Never heard the name. I don't want the money either. How about a hundred gold? Well, Stogrum. If you insist, I do believe me. Oh, here and here, maybe it does sound familiar. Uh, he wants more money. Are you Go kidding ahead, me? Outlander. Let me mean? let me wait and get my stamina back, and then min maybe we can sneak off with a if you're here with a ten trouble, gold persuasion instead of a one hundred. There we go. This is suitable. Okay. Okay. I know it here and here. And if I know it here or near, she'll be staying out of sight as long as the census and excise agent is lurking about. Probably in the underworks. Look for trap doors down from the canal works level. Okay. Awesome. To the canal works. We go. I believe we can get there down this way. Yeah, there we go. Got some beautiful art here. Is this uh, Vivek leading the leading the lowly people of Marwind into uh, I don't know prosperity? <laughs> okay, a census and excise agent has been prowling the Canton Fla, and this agent, <laughs> whose name is du du Duvianus Platorius, wow, that is like Roman as has been showing an interest in it here and here. So my guess is that this excise agent is making his appearance. At here and here will be hiding in the underworks. Seems pretty good for a kitty. Gets her inspiration from the census and excise. Okay, look for trap doors. Well, we found one right here. So not a very long quest. And we chose correctly, because there she is. <laughs> you have questions? I do. Tell me your secrets. So Caius says to you, speak with Adhiranir. And you have done this thing. You are speaking with Adhiranir. But Adhiranir will not talk to you about the Nereverine or the Sixth House. Why? Because she is distracted by the census and excise agent. Okay. Uh, they are collectors of the Empire's taxes and tariffs. And the Emperor has outlawed trade in many things, like Dwinner artifacts and Ebony. And a census agent will enjoy being a pest about such things. For several reasons, an agent is not Adhirnir's favorite person. If you want Adhirnir to help you, make the agent, make the bad agent go away. Okay. Well, we can do that. We can just kill him. Yeah. Great. Flawless idea, right? <laughs> 
Just just murder him in the middle of Vivek. That'll be fine. I don't know why that's unequipped. Uh, <clears throat> I downloaded a mod on Daggerfall that added NPC and animals to the wild, and it didn't change the settings, so as soon as I left Privateer's Hold, I walked into a war zone of NPCs. Oh my god. Um... I looked at the mod settings and I had it to 16 entities max spawn in one area. And he changed it to 4. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you don't want... Uh... <laughs> I'm imagining you, you walk out of Privateer's Hold and there, it's like the Skyrim Civil War. Like There's just two you know units going at each other right outside of Privateer's. I'm looking for a friend of mine. A female Khajiit named Adhirinir. Do you know where I can find her? She just took a gondola to the mainland. What a disappointment, but thank you for your time. I was just heading back to the mainland myself. Anyway, maybe I'll run into her there. Get out of here, idiot. He believed it first time. <laughs> the old bait and switch. I mean, come on. Doesn't this look like a trustworthy guy, right? I, I believe everything he says. Because if you don't, he'd probably eat you. Khajiit <laughs> has no time for you. All right. Uh, so you are the one I must thank for getting rid of the annoying census agent. Indeed, Adhirinir is very glad to see you and happy to tell a good friend, Caius, all about the six health. Okay, let's see it. Uh, you made the agent go away. That's a good trick. And Adhirinir does not ask you how do how you did this trick because Adhirinir doesn't want to know. Adhirinir is feeling quite good and happy to talk about the cult. Okay. So this Adhirinir knows about because it is about smuggling. Talking about the Sixth House cult. Some smart smugglers are suddenly too busy for their old clients because they have a new employer. The Sixth House who pays very well. But what do they smuggle now? Ah, I don't know. Because they are very secret. And this is odd, because the smugglers are always loud and bragging. And now they hush up like fat-bellied kitties. of Full of sweetmeats. Okay, journal updated. Thank you, Adhirinir. I think that completes Vivek before we return to Caius. Except I need to get that book. So we need to stop by Jobasha. Ian, how are you enjoying Daggerfall? I have an interesting relationship with that game. <laughs> I like, I'll, I'll really want to play it, and then I'll play it for about, you know, three hours, four hours over a couple days, and then I, and then I have to take a break. You know, I can't, I can't just like keep doing it. I, I think my problem is the procedurally generated quests. Like once they start repeating themselves, uh, I, I kind of, I kind, it, it kind of loses my interest. Woohoo! Hoppin'. Alright, we're just making our way back to the canoe now. And then we're headed back to Jobasha in the foreign quarter. Uh, I love it, but it's definitely much more frustrating than the other Elder Scrolls. That is, that is uh, a fact. <laughs> Nothing like a seven-hour-long dungeon, Ian. Come on, man. What are what are what are you a dirty casual? Can't can't handle a <laughs> you know twenty-mile dungeon. Uh, let's go to arena and then back. <laughs> that that's another thing that kind of like not bothered me. But it it just it just doesn't feel like the same game, you know. It doesn't feel as Elder Scrollsy as the other games. Cause it feels more like a dungeon crawler than like an open world RPG. Because I remember I, we would have streams where I'd be it'd take me two streams to get through one dungeon, and you know I usually play for like three hours, two and a half hours. So that that got a little woo. <laughs> They do not mess around with the dungeons in Daggerfall. Oh, I need new boots. <laughs> Immersion markers. All 
Alright, we're just gonna hop our way up to Jobasha. Go visit Charles the plant again. Say hi to our little green buddy. Oh, wrong way. Keep moving. Keep moving. Um, yeah, here we go. It wants something. What does it ask? I'll get a little heated and play my bass. <laughs> yeah, or a six string. Nice, man. I didn't realize you played guitar. That's who Leah. Oh, yeah, this is the guy that was like. Let's he ran away. This official outlander. They should do a project like Daggerfall Unity for Arena. Yeah, that'd be cool. Arena is free on the Bethesda website, I believe. You know, I don't know, I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure they made them both free. Pilgrim's Path. Well, that's not it. Uh, the Yellow Book of Riddles. Who wants to do some riddles? Changed Ones, Consolations, The Firmament. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Oh, no, there it is. It's just not. It just doesn't have the word the in front of it. <laughs> what do we have here? Vampires of Vardenfell. Well, we can we can trade that in. Yeah, well, that's a nice, a nice handoff right there. Ended up making money. Charles the plant. Stay safe. Keep Jobasha in line. I would love to play Arena, but the combat system and mechanics are awful. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 hard to adjust after, you know, going back in time with video games. It's, it's speak. You know, every game is standing on the shoulder of every other game that came before it, so times certainly have changed in some regards. I'm glad I played this game early enough to where the combat and the reading doesn't scare me off. Because I could see only having ever played more recent RPGs like Witcher 3 or something and then trying to play Morrowind and being like, why would you ever do this to yourself? <laughs> if that was, you know, if that was all you knew. I'm just trying to see if they have, they don't even have a long blade. Oh, they have one. A spark sword. I think our axe is just better. Yeah, it's just better. Do we need any scrolls? I think I'm running low on Alm CV intervention, but he doesn't have any, so we are. We're just gonna move on. Speak. Someone remind me to grab Soul Trap at at the next Mages Guild that we stop at, because that'll be. That'll be about the only way I can, you know, start enchanting my actual axe. Need a scroll of soul trap. I am... See, I'm saying I'm committing to it. I think I have committed to never casting a spell in this run that isn't a scroll. I think I've already mentally committed to that, so... I'd like to see how far I can take it. Uh, Morrowind was the very first game I played besides Leapfrog games. Wow. You are hardcore, man. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're used to it. Leapfrog games. Oh, man, I remember I had one. It was called, like, Math Blaster or something. <laughs> it was... And, oh, does uh, did anyone else play the, the Doom ripoff uh, Chex Quest? So check check cereal back in the day, and in one of their boxes had a floppy disk ripoff of of Doom, and it was called Checks Quest, and you were the like a piece of, a guy dressed up in like the cereal suit, and you would like attack, you know. We make a I'm trying try to remember what the enemies were. Oh, I I can't remember, but you would like it, I mean it was a. Blatant Doom Wolfenstein 1 ripoff. It was amazing. 
It was, it was the most, like, 90s thing ever. <laughs> Check's Quest. Highly, highly recommend it. Look it up. It'll, it'll freak you out. Acrobatics to 23. Very nice. Just going in to you turn in these notes to Caius Cosades. Yes, the orders. Uh, I have your report, and I'll make copies of your notes from Julia and the Progress of Truth. Give me time to read and digest all this. In the meantime, I'm promoting you to journeyman. Awesome. Uh, you're doing good work. And here are 200 drakes. Go out and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. And go do some jobs for the guilds or freelance work. Just keep your cover story current or get some training. Then when you're fit and rested, come back. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. You know, I may go see, go to the fighter's guild and see if we can get any training. Um, I think we got enough cash for it, right? I mean, we have 2,200. We're not... There, there's nothing I need to buy right now Masera. so maybe we just grab some quick training and then walk back over to Mr. Kai's uh, any say? kid born after 09 have iPad leapfrogs and it makes me mad because <laughs> we got we got these crappy things and yeah now they have touch screens yep you know hey but our imagination is better right uh, not the major skill Da, 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 da. That's why I was kind of interested, because I know Dungeons & Dragons has made a resurgence in the last couple years. And that kind of surprised me. You know, totally analog. Gotta be, you know, in person, just rolling dice. Use, using your mind. <laughs> that kind of surprised me that that got popular again, even though I love D&D. Oh, no one has axe here. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the, well, check the guy upstairs maybe. Go Everybody ahead. has so much technology these days. Heavy armor. You know, we'll just go ahead and grab a grab a level. How many more do we need? Three. I've got a few minutes if you need something. You know, I may need. It, it may behoove me now that our axe skills starting to get pretty high. To start thinking about long blade. I don't think we're there yet, but all right, there we go. In your dream, a tall figure with a golden mask greeted you, saying, "There are many rooms in the house of the master. Be easy, for from the hands of your enemies I have delivered you. It seems you had died and could see yourself laid upon a table lit by candles." But with your own hands, you touched the figure, and the figure drew breath, opened eyes, and rose from the table. Then the room was gone, and the world filled with light, and you awoke. <gasps> Dagoth. The call to the sixth house. I suppose I have. Let's go back and talk with Mr. Caius. Very true. I can make toy guns out of sticks and 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 your own hands, <laughs> while everybody else needed Nerf guns. Don't press your luck. Yep. Every, pe people these days need better imaginations. Wealth beyond measure. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> we, me and my brother used to make toy guns too. We'd we'd make them out of like cardboard and paper, and we'd get elastic like Please, bands and we'd you. staple them to the sides and then we'd roll up pieces of paper and then sh like shoot them with the uh shoot them with the elastic band <laughs> we'd have wars with those things i am here to discuss orders awesome we need an ashlander informant i've heard of a fellow in eldrun named hazor hazor zan Oh gosh, this one's hard. Hasor Zain Subani, an Ashlander who left the wastes to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these 100 drakes. Find out what Zain 
<laughs> God, this is a tough name. Zane Subani likes and get him a gift. Then give him the gift and take him on a date and see if he will tell you about the Ashlanders in the cult and report back to me. Okay. <laughs> Zane Subani. That's a tough one. Um, Zane Subani. He left the waste to become a traitor in Aldrun. Okay, so off to Aldrun now. In Aldrun, let's try... Well, no, that's where our current Fighter's Guild quest is. Okay, let's turn this in, and then let's go to... Let's say Vivek with the Mage's Guild and get a different Fighter's Guild quest from Vivek. So that we can kind of just break up all the dialogue. Yeah, he's an Eldrune. Hey, it's Shelby's friend, Seth. We were just talking about D&D, &D, and she plugged your stream. <laughs> nice. Welcome, Seth. We were also just talking about D&D. &D. I hope you're having a glorious night. Uh, this reminds me, last winter I had a war with firecrackers and airsoft guns, and it was fun. <laughs> but those firecrackers hurt. You crazy bastard, Ian. You <laughs> throwing firecrackers at each other. Oh my god, man. That's insane. Can you? We weren't that crazy, man. We just, we played with our little, uh, you know, our little hornet guns, I guess. Airsoft, though. Airsoft was totally in our realm. Oh, wait, Training? no. I... <laughs> I, I need to speak oh, to the I traitor Did you want before something? I uh, go to Vivek. What was his name? Hasaur Zain Subani. Okay, let's ask one of these guards about it. Um, is someone in particular not on here? No? Okay. No. It said Aldrun, correct? He became a wealthy traitor in Aldrun. You know what? When all else when all else fails, go to the tavern. D and D would know this. Marwind would know this. Any RPG fan would know this. Fantasy person. Uh, I should really be doing stuff for our finals, but I'm not focused at all. Hence Twitch. Hey man, you're you're here, and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> I wish you luck, though, on the in the coming plague that is finals. It's never fun, man. Never fun. Uh, I love Airsoft. I'm getting Speed a new gun traveler. and going to a field soon. Awesome. Um, I used to be really into Airsoft. We used to go to, like, Airsoft arenas and stuff. And we one of my friends recently just had a bachelor party, and I did paintball for the first time. So if you like Airsoft, you probably like paintball, too. Really, really fun. Hasaur Zain Subani, the traitor. He'll be downstairs reading. Or in the back room below the bar. Okay. What did I say, people? Go to the tavern. That is how you advance quests this in any fantasy world. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. All right. Hasaur. Okay, we need to find out what he likes. And if I remember correctly, this is the man we have to get the poetry uh, book for, isn't it? I am Zane Subani, Stogram. May you bless and be blessed. I do not wish to be rude. But if you have business, speak it. For I am at leisure and would prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Okay. Uh, I do have business. I see you wish to learn of Ashlanders. And what is it you would wish to learn? Ooh. Yeah, let's learn the gift-giving customs first. You know, let's feel it out. A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers and affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are courteous and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. Such is useful for traders and travelers. It, among friends, it's a private thing and subtle with great risks. I don't know. For the test of the gift is how well it is tailored. Okay. 
right, a gift that shows you have taken the care to learn something of the receiver. For example, I love poetry. Say no more. We're getting, we're getting to poetry. <laughs> I remember, I remember this one. And I think the guy over, over by the big building is the, is the one who actually sells it. So I'm pretty sure we don't even have to go far. Uh, your dad was huge into paintball back when it first came along, and then when he moved to the U.S. in 93, he discovered it and played tons. Wow. That's awesome, man. Uh, general merchandise. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. I wonder if this is the spot with the poetry book. RK the enemy. No, no, no. No. Hmm. Hmm. He loves poetry. A bookseller, merchant, or pawn shop. Well, this guy doesn't have it, and he doesn't have an option for me to ask about it. Right? Work? I sold an Ashlander handcrafted racer suede belt. <laughs> Swag. It's like Gucci. Uh, but he has failed to make his final payment. If you would find him and get it back, I'll give you 25 gold. Mm. That's not very exciting. I think this is a bookseller here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ooh, the immersion marker. Look out, everyone. There it is. Good old, good old immersion marker. When I get my next emote slot, I, I think that has to be it. <laughs> I'm never, I'm never gonna fix that texture. I, I apologize, viewers. I'm, I'm probably never going to get to it. Um, let's see. Hassar Zain Subani. Okay, the Ashlander Trader. A bibliophile. I know a couple of those. Likes poetry. I have a few volumes here. Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns, The Far Five Stars. Okay. Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns. Do we just buy them all? Or do we... Do we buy the cheapest one? I mean, we have the cash for all, so let's just buy them all, man. Words of the Wind. That one sounds cool. What was the other one? Fire five stars. Okay. Do we have anything that we can pedal back to him? No. The third door. There we go. Thing's 250 gold and he gave me 19? What you, what, what do you have against orcs, man? Let's Look at that. What a nice, personable guy. Come on. How can you say no to that face? Uh, he had never heard of it before then. It wasn't a thing in Bulgaria at the time. Uh, communism fell just a couple years before then, and it was just starting to westernize. That is fascinating. That's actually really cool. Have you been back to Bulgaria with him, or have y'all just stayed in the stayed in the U.S.? Whoa! Oh, we went into the inn. I we need to go up, up and around. There we go. I was already trying to go to bed. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. I hate, I hate that voice actor. That's the same voice actor that has uh. That does Fargoth. Oh my god. Uh, yes, what is your business with me? Okay. How about that thoughtful gift? Alright. This, a gift for me. A copy of the Far Five Stars. Noble words of noble warriors. I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn. <laughs> now that's a sentence. I lament their ignorant scorn. Got Edgar Allan Poe over here. Uh, for such common yet potent magic. I thank you, and I honor your courtesy, Stogram. It would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about the Ashlanders? Okay. Uh, okay, there is too much to tell. Take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nereverine cult. But most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. And since you ask about the Nereverine cult, 
Perhaps you'll be interested in my views on the Ashlanders and foreigners, because a guiding passion is their hatred of foreigners. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem good for me. Also, one second. Let me, let me pull my uh, stream chat back up. All right, there we go. Lost it there for a second, but we are back. Um, too much to tell. All right, what are we doing? Courtesy. Ashlanders may challenge a stranger. Yeah. So I know all this already. And we got the updates. So I think we take these notes back to Caius, right? These notes will satisfy the spy master. Is there something... So, yes. <laughs> Back to Caius. Um, you know what? First, let's hit the Mage's Guild. Let, let's try and go to Vivek and get a... Uh, try and get a quest. A quest that involves blood. We've done a, done a lot of exposition this stream. Let's, you know, let's get the axe wet again. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. That's a beautiful song, my friend. So I'm gonna hit this Mage's Guild guild guide and head over to uh, the Vec. Oh, there we go. I would like to travel. Yes. You want something? Do I want something? Money. Money and fame. And a new guitar. Can you get that for me? <laughs> I was watching this epic Yellowstone nature show. What did I miss? You missed a lot of exposition. Uh, we were just pushing. Excuse me. We were just pushing forward the main quest uh, for about the about the last half hour or so. I feel like you've been to Yellowstone, don't cry. <laughs> you've got the adventurous blood in your veins. I've got a few minutes. Uh, who do we get quests from here? Dun, dun. Well, they don't have anything about orders, so we we will keep looking. I was hoping that was a. Anything I can. Do. I was hoping that was a uh, skill book right there. I live an hour from Yellowstone, Joseph. Oh, that's right. That is right. Well, you are lucky, man. I've always wanted to go. I'm listening. I have always wanted to go. Do you think it's gonna blow up? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. Wait, what's your what's your opinions on the uh, super the state of the super volcano? <laughs> uh, my mom got mad. My bass was too loud and was shaking the house. So <laughs> I missed like three minutes. No worries, man. No worries. That's how you know it's you know it's rock. Got to got to be shaking the house. Also, I listened to that uh, that uh, song you threw in the Discord, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Very alty. Nar Gro Shagrumpf said he'd deliver a ring to Ronis. Oh god, another name, that's crazy. Ionith, but he hasn't delivered. Go talk to Ronis Ionith and bring the Juice Star Feather Ring. Alright, the classic Juice Star Feather Ring. Every, everybody knows the Juice Star. Yeah, it's gonna blow up. I knew it. Dang it. Don't cry. I mean, you gotta stop it. <laughs> you, the, the the fate of the world rests in your hands, Nerevar. <laughs> what brings you here? What was that? I was just about to talk. I was just talking about the super super caldera with some NPS staff a few weeks ago. <gasps> oh no! Isn't it? It it is kind of foreboding. <laughs> you know, it's kind of wild. 
You should listen to Never Meant by American Football. Now that's a good song. Okay, cool. I will look into that. Take this, friend. I think everybody should read this leaflet. It has important information on it. Oh, man. I get, I get scared. I get scared of leaflets. Alright, what's, what's the word, you know, Sethion? What's the word from NPS? Is, is there any... Any updates on the state of <laughs> this fragile world that's sitting on top of a super volcano? <laughs> Jewstaff Feather Ring. Nargro Shagram. Where is this man? I love how I'm like, let's go get a quest where we, you know, have to go fight people. Oh, first crash of the stream. Huzzah! Very chill song. The guitar is super cool, and the bass line is simple, which makes it ten times better. Yeah, you know, I'm big into metal and, like, prog and stuff, but, you know, sometimes you, you can't, like, always headbang or, like, jive consistently with something progressive. It's always nice to switch it up. Well, we are back. Oh, gosh, I accidentally hit that. Strange. If anyone is single, I highly recommend Mexican beaches. Well, Ian, Seth, that's all for you. <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie as well. Lonnie, if you're still in chat, you know, may have to get yourself uh, out of Aussie and into, into Mexico. <laughs> Can you remind me why you, uh, why you were in Mexico again? Don't cry. Was, was it for... Was it work related or, or were you um I know you told me. I know you told me, I just can't remember off the top of my head. I mean it's only been months, right? <laughs> we gotta grab this again. Gotta grab this again. How may I help you? You may help me by giving me the quest. Grab the orders, juice da. Alright. Grow Shagrumph. And I can't ask him about it? That's that's kind of annoying. Uh, I like post-hardcore a lot and melodic metalcore, but I'm not huge into most metal. Melodic metalcore. Can you can you name a band that would be considered melodic metalcore? I love melodic death metal. That's one of my favorite genres. I I'm not big into like like straight edge metalcore though or straight up metalcore I should say straight edge is hardcore I don't know there's so many genres it's so easy it's so easy to get mixed up <laughs> I was in Mexico for tequila tacos and ladies not <laughs> nice well that is certainly not a bad place for that. by the three my right certainly not a bad spot by the way, I will say, COVID has gotten one thing right. Take out margaritas. Just walk down the street, get handed a margarita, and just drink it going back down the street. Nobody cares. I will say, that is one good thing to come out of this. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking for someone in particular. Here in the foreign quarter, you'll find the guards, the fighters guild, mages guild, imperial cult. Uh, some fighters live in the arena. Nope, nope. Nothing about that orc. Jobasha. Hmm. I wonder where this guy Let's is. Let's not make this official, Outlander. Move along. Not even. Oh, that's kind of strange. Not even the uh, guards know who he is. Metal and punk is divided into ten billion, that billion that different subgenres. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is. It's honestly so hard to keep up with them. Like I feel like uh, I feel like bands at some point just try and make them up so that I'm they waiting. sound you like feel unique. 
Like I, I was on a like a Go band ahead. campsite. I, I was just like clicking through bands, and this it was like atmospheric, post, like black metal, something, and I was like, all right, man. If your genre has five different words, I think you're making it up. <laughs> like. You can't get that, uh, you know, put the magnifying that close to it. Because cause then every band, you know, would have their own what genre. Do you want? Wow, is, is this guy... This guy is a, an, an enigma. Oh, Halalu Canton. Okay. He didn't say that in the dialogue. That's kind of misleading, but... Well, we know now. Country metal is apparently a thing. Oh, I, I'm, I, I am sure. I'm not surprised at what all. Do you want? <laughs> don't, don't cry. That that caught me off guard. That's funny. <laughs> Stop making up music genres before <laughs> before don't cry. Beat you with a rubber hose. I like Midwest emo and math rock scene. Nice. I do like some math rock. Math rock to me kind of like combines with progressive metal and a lot, or progressive rock and prog in a lot of ways. No one knows where this man is. What the heck? Just get to the Canton Plaza. Okay, so the plaza is the top, right? I mean, I guess we just have to go for it, right? We just have to listen. Go straight up there. I'm trying to think of one of the math rock bands I used to listen to. Yeah, the time signatures. That's one of the coolest parts. You know, it feels like the music's, like, undulating. Chon. I love Chon. Yes, Chon is awesome. I, I really like their most recent album. Super cool. Super cool stuff. Alright, is this our guy? Speak, nope. Traveler. We are in the Halalu Plaza, so this guy's gotta be here. There he is! Give me a damn ring! Juice stop feather ring. I don't got any ring. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Can we, can, do we try and intimidate the orc? Oh, let me rest. I, I need to get my stamina back before we attempt the check, actually. Grab a save. Always have your stamina up when you're trying uh, trying skill checks. Never forget. Let's, let's, let's try and intimidate the orc. It worked. Oh, hey now. <laughs> hey now. Clan, clan master right here. All right, give me the frickin' ring. I am the best orc. Fine, take it. Never liked the stupid ring anyways. Yeah, you remember that. Next time I'll... Next time I won't be so nice. <laughs> Ever heard of tiny moving parts? No, I don't believe so. Don't think I... Don't think I have. Is that a... Is that a band album? Group song. <laughs> Lonnie, does anyone else eat dry noodles from the packet? Lonnie, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I I don't. But if that's what floats your boat, then then get it, girl. Eat them dry noodles. I support you, even if no one agrees. Or if you don't do it and you're just curious. I'm curious as well. All right, what's going on? Uh, I need to, I need to find the uh, canoe again. You can tell this is a new playthrough because Vivek is all dark. <laughs> like sign of a new playthrough, right? Yeah, I totally eat, <laughs> I totally eat dry noodles, okay. 
I don't know if you're kidding or not. You gotta try it. Break them up a little. Put them in a bowl, put some seasoning, and eat with your hands. It's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I see what you're doing. Monster Kitty, hello. Welcome back. I hope you've had a great weekend. We're just we're just doing some Morrowind. We're trying to... We, we've had so much exposition. And now we're trying to we're trying to get a a more actiony quest, and they sent us to go get a get a feather ring. <laughs> a lot of happy and energetic instrumentals, but more sad lyrics, and it's cool. Hey, well, I mean, I, I listen to like death metal and stuff, so I can't say anything about lyrics. <laughs> I mean, I listen to other stuff too, but that is that is in my ecosystem of music. Got, got my new Megadeth shirt on. Heck yeah. Proceeds. I bought this. Proceeds went to uh, COVID relief. So I was doing 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 some good too as well. Always always a plus. Support the band and support humanity as a whole. Love it. <laughs> Submit to the three. I'm taking the slowest way to the top I think I can do. Oh yeah, dude. Death, Rip Chuck. I that they're one of my favorite bands, man. Rip Chuck. He was he was a master. Gone too soon. Dun dun dun. All right, let's give this guy this ring and then see what's next in store for us. That guy is jacked. Can we just appreciate this? You're Holy not crap. what I expected. You've earned my trust. Wow. I mean, he is an orc, though. And I bet we'd be that jacked, too, if we took our shirts off. But, you know, Stogrum. He, he, likes, he likes the aesthetic of the armor. You have the ring. Good. Give me the ring. Okay, cool. He was 100 septums. Swordsman. Swordsman? Swordsman, I will have you know, we have used an axe since the second we set foot into Morrowind, and you're going to call me a damn swordsman? I am upset. I want more orders. Now we got to kill someone. All right, here's an Argonian that can't keep its mouth shut. Go shut him up. Done. All right. And if he says swordsman, he's really done. Go, go find Tongue Toad at the Rat and Pot in Aldruin. Silence him and I'll give you 500 septums. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that orc quarantine bod. He's been doing some sit-ups. And everything else. <laughs> How do you do? I've been working out hella during quarantine. Once when I wake up and, and before I go to bed. That's awesome, man. Uh, you've, you've probably done better than, you know, 90% so of people. About? You've done better than me, for sure. I, I, I still do, you know, I, I certainly haven't fallen completely out of it, but not as much as I used to. Just bo body weight so exercises do just don't motivate me as much as uh, lifting weights. That's probably my rugby background, though. Are you just doing, like, a lot of calisthenics and stuff, Ian, like a lot of body weight work? Speak freely, friend. Speak freely, friend. I will. Take me to Aldrun. Let's grab a save just uh, before we travel. Grab a sip of water here. I haven't had a whole... I haven't had a sip of water this entire time. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Stamina recharged. Also, I think I, I need to plug my, my tablet back in. It's about to die, so give me one second while I, while I grab the charger so that I don't lose my beautiful chat. You know? Gotta, gotta keep the interaction high. Alright, I'm moving this over here. My magical window. This is just a spell over here. 
It's a box. There we go. <laughs> Alright, that'll be on in a second. And we can we can keep rocking. Th thank you for bearing with that long, arduous journey for <laughs> with me. Uh, I ride my bike two to four hours a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't cry. You are a legend. I remember that. Core work in the evening. Ian's doing push-ups and sit-ups once a day to get back in shape. You did 35 miles of hills? Oh, my gosh. 35 miles. Don't cry. You're an Iron Man. That is insanity. Instead of sit-ups, there's some core stuff on YouTube that's way better. Uh, yes, I recommend Athlean X if uh, people are trying to get in shape and, and don't know it. What are we doing, by the way? I got caught up with getting our charger. We're talking to Toad Tongue at the Rat and Pot. Got to silence him. Okay. And by silence him, he means we, we have to murder him viciously. Because we're an orc. My legs, they're glowing. Yes, they are. So I think that this boot, uh, when I modded the game, I think the texture got covered up by the mod. So I actually should probably do a clean install of, of Morrowind graphics overhaul. My time is precious. I have a really late version. I mean, this, this version is from a very long time ago. He is in the rat and pot. Have we found that yet? Chat, we're beautiful. Chat, I agree. Chat, chat, you're beautiful. Just keep on keeping on. Uh, each and every one of you. Okay, we well, we walked right past it. Oh, man. I'm starting to realize just how many people I know are taking steroids, though. Sad. Yeah. Like, uh, just just for performance-enhancing reasons? Or are, they, or are they trying to do, like, uh, bodybuilding and stuff? Because for professional bodybuilders, I understand it. Like, that's your job. I, I get it. Uh, the uh, performance-enhancing part is where the line kind of gets blurred for me. Lorbamal, so Toad Tongue. Where are you hiding, Toad Tongue? He's not down there. It's not a Khajiit. Where are... Toad Tongue. I have found you. I am Toad Tongue. The Fighters Guild sent you to kill me. Yes. They want me dead. All right, chat, what do we think? Just kill him or do we talk? Uh, if you go near the Mages Guild, don't forget the Soul Trap. That's right. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you. Uh, if you go... Oh, I'm sorry. Just for performance enhancing. Okay. Okay, kill him. We have two votes for kill him murdering. <laughs> okay, all right. He's dead. He's already dead. M murder him. Yes. What are you doing? I'm killing you. Kill him. Wait, wait. Whoa, it's a crime? I'm on a quest. Kill him. Okay. Dang it. I thought we, I thought we could, like, get a pass because we're on the Fighters Guild. What? I, mi I misremembered this. Approaches. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. It's all your fault, chat. Damn it. Monster, Seth, it's all your fault. E Lonnie, you had a part in this, you harbinger of chaos. <laughs> the dang Aussie. Wait, wait, I can, uh, hold on. I, I, th I know how to do this. I know how to do this, right? I can persuade, I can uh, taunt him, right? I can just taunt him repeatedly. And then he'll attack me, won't he? Isn't, isn't this... Uh... Am I misremembering this? Freaking attack me. Okay, okay. Get lost. No. I want you to attack me. <laughs> okay, well, 
We tried it. Maybe maybe the quest like won't let him do it. Taunt fail. You are pathetic. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try three more times. One. Two. Three. Dang it. <sighs> Orc, no good with words. We're going to have to reload that last save and just pay him off or something. Darn it. I really wanted to kill him. Oh, well. I tried to make it happen, guys. I tried the I tried the taunt trick. I tried to make it happen. All right, let's talk. You idiot. What if I were to leave town? Yeah, just get out of here. Okay. Speak quickly. I tried, guys. Ah, it works on a dice roll, and if your disposition is around zero, there's a one in a billion chance. Okay, so... So you're telling me that taunting would work better if the disposition was at a hundred? That seems kind of counterintuitive. As you can tell, I'm <laughs> usually playing uh, pretty, pretty straight-edge characters. <laughs> Don't do a lot of taunting in Morrowind. Yes, people have, people have to like you to attack you. Wait a minute, okay. If that's the case. If that's the case. So, monster, you're telling me if I give this guy like a million gold and then he attack and then I taunt him and attack him, then we get we can just get the gold back? Summoned by another questions again. All right, we're going to try the monster kitty approach. 100% disposition, right? 100%. And then we can just taunt him, right? Persuade. Goodbye. Okay. Persuade. Taunt. Taunt? No. You're likely to find one. No! Fight me! <laughs> oh, oh, man, he's hitting hard. So sad and such a... <laughs> no teeth at all. Oh, man. Alright, I tried. I don't want to lose my money, though, so I'm just going to save scum it and uh, go back. They don't attack you on the first success. Ah, okay. Well, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to bog you know bog us down too hard. Although I do need to go tell him to leave town because I re I quick saved uh, before that. So, kill me. Talk. Leave town. Updated. On the run. Press that button. <laughs> It with passion, with fire. <laughs> I, I didn't have enough vigor and hatred in it. No, vitriol. Vitriol, that was the word I was looking for. The, the V hatred word. Orcs with that notorious charisma stat. Oh man. Yeah, look at that. A big fat personality of 40. <laughs> Top tier. Top tier. Uh, travel back to Vivec. I'm listening. Well, I, you know, I tried to get some blood for the viewers. I tried. Sorry, guys. I figured since we're on a quest for the Fighter Guild, maybe we would get a pass and it wouldn't be a crime. But so, what do you want? You know, I guess I guess we're not like the blades or anything. We're just some measly strong arms. So what's this about? It just works. Yes, Lonnie. It just works. How may I help you? You can please move. You get Toad Tongue to shut his mouth yet? I want that done. 
Yeah, we totally killed him. Cut his head off. Rip, ripped his entrails out. Spread his, you know, body parts across the ash land. Totally happened. Very dead. Super dead. Ten feet under. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Good work. Just as long as he keeps his mouth shut. Here's your gold. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a promotion yet. The Fighters Guild recognizes you, Stogrum. You are now the protector. Because that totally fits our MO. Local Orzimer raids a tavern, swinging axe wildly in Argonian's direction, misses everything. More at 11. <laughs> Monster Kitty with the news, hot off the press. I got a bounty on a Khajiit. His name is Drosakar. If this guy is in the middle of a freaking building again, I'm going to cry. He's hiding in Vivek in St. Olm's. I remember this. Okay, I got to... Yeah, he's hiding in Vivek. Awesome. I remember this quest. We can kill this guy. He's, he's uh, alone in a room. He is alone in a room, so yes. he is fair game to, to get moited. Well, friend, what brings you? <laughs> ah, yes. Stogrum the Protector. Can you please go murder someone? <laughs> kind of an ironic name for the Fighters Guild, if you ask me. Alright, St. Ohms. So we're going to head down, we're going to grab a canoe, and we're going to canoe over to the temple, and then we're just going to walk over to St. Ohms from there. We're watching you. Scum. Yes, friend. Scum. So many insults. I mean, the, the Dunmer are a very insult-heavy culture. Oh, man, we're on the wrong side. I need to go to the other side of the building. Watch this. Swit. Inwa. Scum. Fetcher. There's so many good insults in this game. It's kind of crazy. This is your 6 o'clock Tamriel news. Well, that must be a new edition. That must be a, the, the 6 o'clock edition. We always do the 11. More at 11. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. That's what immediately has always popped into my head. There's always more at 11. Maybe that's when like 60 Minutes came on or something. I don't know. Alright, we are going over to the temple. And then across to St. Ohms. And then we will ruffle some fur. Because we got a Khajiit to kill. Uh, I'd be pretty peeved too if I lived on an island that was roughly 90% ash and 10% cliff racers. <laughs> yeah, so I understand why they <laughs> insult people. That is true, monster. That is, that is definitely true, monster kitty. Yeah, I'd be pretty mad, too. And then especially if the middle of the island was a giant, you know, volcano that occasionally just blew plagues into my, you know, into my house. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty annoying. It's probably just quicker for me to walk over to that bridge. Like, Mar Morrowind is a, it's a pretty terrible place to live. Great place to adventure in a video game. Not a good place to vacation. Have a home. Not a good spot. Ooh, South 1. Are, is this numbered? He's in one of these how First try. It's... It's like I've done this before. <laughs> Drosakar. Prepare to die. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. Has no time for you. Okay, our stamina is pretty low. So hopefully this goes well. Too quick for you. Ooh, what's his uh? He must have a really high agility skill. He's in everything. One more. We are too quick. One more. There we go.
First try. Actually, this time. <laughs> you have spoken your last Drosika. Dirty Khajiit. Although I do love Khajiit. I usually play Khajiit or, or, or Argonian or, or like Nords. <laughs> only him. He was the only one who was bad. Hound meat, you. Guys, guys, the cat is eating hound meat. The cat's eating dog. <laughs> 20, a full stack of hound meat. Cat's eating dog. Remember to wear a mask during the blight and make sure you social distance correctly. That is right. See, and then we're going to sleep in his bed. You dreamt that a tall figure with a golden mask spoke to you, but you understood not a word. He smiled and seemed pleasant, but he, when he reached to touch you, it terrified you. And you tried to escape, but you couldn't move. You tried to cry out, but you couldn't make a sound. The figure kept smiling and talking, but you felt sure he was trying to cast some sort of spell on you. When you woke, you realized it was Morgan Freeman. And he was in your bed. No. <laughs> and you couldn't recall how the dream ended. <laughs> it was Morgan Freeman. And he was in your bedroom. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. The blood gods have been sated for now. Indeed, Seth. Dagoth wave intensifies. <laughs> If if anyone in chat has not seen the YouTube channel, Young Scrolls, please do yourself a favor and go see all the amazing music that this YouTuber has made. It is all from, like, I mean, just all the Elder Scrolls game sound bites, and he makes, like, legitimate albums, and they're actually fire. Like, they are straight bangers. So please, everyone, please go go take a look at Young Scrolls. Lani, got some love for young scrolls. Awesome. My time is precious, so make it quick. Uh, to back to the foreign quarter. Let's grab another save. Could have another crash imminent. I know we're getting on hour, hour number two here, so I don't wanna, don't wanna get too Speed cocky travel. with my, uh, with my, you know, stability thus far. Rexus Hasi, welcome. I am a god. How can you kill a god? What a, what a what is a what a blissful and intoxicating intoxicating ignorance. Rexus, a member of the sixth house, I see. <laughs> Welcome to chat. I hope your day is going swimmingly. All right, let's turn this quest in. Lonnie, what's your uh, what's your favorite Young Scroll song? I gotta say, I'm a I'm a big fan of um, oh what is it? I like I like the Boris EP, and then I like the new one that he did as well. There's someone watching me. I can tell. We gotta we gotta go up to the next level. Oh, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Let me look. Okay, gotta gotta refresh on the young scrolls. Clout Ruler Temple. That was the Boris one. That was <laughs> Boom. Are you alright? Boom Perhaps indeed. What do, what do we boom and don't cry? Of course. What may I do for you? You may do. Just just give me some money. I am honored. Truly. I gave you the How contract on that Khajiit. He dead yet? Yep. I heard you got the Khajiit. Here's the 500 Septum Bounty. Awesome. The Fighters Guild recognizes you, Stogrum. Since you murdered that guy, it seems only apt to name you Stogrum Blackhammer the Defender. <laughs> uh, Dagoth waves or flex like Sithis. Yes, flex like Sithis is great. Oh, Zoom. Okay, I take that back. Boris EP was great. Uh, Shiagorath's album, Zoom. That that takes it. Thank you for reminding me, Monster Kitty. Thank you for reminding me. 
All right, let's get some more orders. Uh, Severin Doves says that Liriel Stoin in Aldrun owes him 2,000 septums. Get Liriel's debt money and bring it back to me, and you get to keep half. Okay. The strong arming continues. Yes, stranger? Stranger. Welcome, stranger. Anytime. What was that from? Right. That was from another video game. I can't remember off the top of my head. Hello, stranger. Uh, is this back in Aldrun? Wait. Uh, debt money. Um, is this the right quest? Much less someone I hardly know. Good work. Here's your share. That's not the right quest. What? Quests. Uh, Binnerin's bounty. That's not it. Lyriel's debt. You know, I'm I'm gonna go back and talk to him again. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Cause that's an old quest that we did for Adis uh, early on. Nice to see you, friend. That's kind of confusing. Oh, got yes, <laughs> stranger. Oh, look how immersive. Just just floating. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Um, uh, orders, debt money, yes. Rat and pot. Wait, what? We already had the money? How? <laughs> okay. We already had the money. Congratulations. Quest, quest complete. We, we worked so hard. Okay. I have a bounty contract for a Gerarian Vendacia. Okay. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, for 500 septums for a Gerarian Vendacia. She's at one of the census and excise buildings in Sedanine, and there might be some guards around, so watch out. Ooh. How do we do this? A sincere welcome. Interesting. So we actually have to murder someone in and public. How are you? Like Can actually, you? like not talk our way out of it, I think. Can you move? Please? Thank you. Is anyone else confused how we already had the money? <laughs> like Oh, another dream, everyone. In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to you. Lord Naravar, Indril. Hai Rezdai Nia. Long forgotten, forged anew. Three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. Lord Voren Degoth, Degoth Ur. Steadfast liegeman, faithful friend. Bid you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin and purge the Inwa from Morrowind. Very nice. A most excellent dream. I need to rest till I'm healed though, because that woke me up. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave the money. That's, that's the guild's money. Now I'm dreaming in poetry thanks to that earlier quest, yeah! You know, we got that poetry book and it, you know, ingrained itself really fast. Oh, look out. Anytime, friend. I'm right here. What a th That is the first kind person we found in Morrowind. <laughs> Anytime, friend. I'm right here. What a guy. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How can you be so naive? Indeed. We were too naive to think that we could stand a chance against Lord Dagoth. We're watching you. Scum. 
We're watching you. I wonder if Lord Dagoth could, uh, you know, get away with murdering someone in public, because that seems to be the hardest thing to do in this game. <laughs> the Ordinators do not mess around. Woohoo! Taking a hop. I gotta say, that is one of, like, the most iconic lines that has always stuck in my head, you know, from from gaming, really. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? Freaking powerful. Powerful. Alright, let me double check. Where are we going? Sadanine in the Census and Excise office. So this Silt Strider will get us right there in one shot. Maybe two. Maybe we have to go to Belmore. Nope. Awesome. Where you want you something, like to friend? I'm going to head out for a bit later, man. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by, Ian. To you as well. Yes. You know, keep rocking. Uh, throw, throw any good, you know, math rock jams you have in the Discord. I'll be sure to check them out. Hope you have a great week. I'll talk at you later. What? Whoa! Hey now! Get him! Yeah! It's like it's like watching Animal Planet. <laughs> Excellent work, boys! Excellent work. That was kind of wild. See, I'm used to seeing people only attack me. <laughs> All right, here's census. Let's check it out. Let's grab a save. I think this lady is up. Uh, is she across the street, actually, now that I think about it? Because I think I've done this quest as well. I think she's across the street in that, like, warehouse, actually. So let me go check there. Your papers, please. Celis Gravius, I gave you my papers, like, 12 hours ago. <laughs> I feel like she's in there. Uh, sh 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 bounty contract. She's at one of the buildings, exact one of them. Do we have a scroll of unhinging? Because our lockpick skill is quite trash. Ooh, I do have Soul Trap. Open 40 to 60. Okay. So, it should work. I'm gonna grab a save. I don't, I'm just hopefully won't be seen. There we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, we snuck in. Trespassing, though. Just gotta, gotta be sneaky. Speak freely, friend. Or we don't have to be sneaky. I'm okay with that as well. <laughs> that makes our life easier. Ah, uh, here she is. This is her, right? Edraria Vendacia. Okay. Yes, friend. I'm not your friend. She looks kind of like... An actress. Like, vaguely familiar. I can't. I can't place it. Looks kind of familiar. I'm sorry, but I have to murder you. I have you. Oh, she's pretty strong. What the heck? I'm just waiting for that guard to come up. Okay, crime has been reported. Uh, just steal everything. Steal everything. Is those expensive shoes? Okay. I should have said take all. <laughs> I thought they were common shoes. I see resemblance, right? I just I can't place it. Uh save. Alright, we gotta We gotta bail, so let's just um CV out of here. <laughs> just teleport off the balcony and disappear into the night. No, I don't know what you don't! <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Run away. 
Oh, did we dodge him? Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, we'll have to pay for our crimes uh, later, but we got we got away from one. Nice. Dang it. They know. Okay, guys. We got to we got to pay the fine. Where are you running to? I'm right here, man. Oh, there we go. You have violated the law, Stogrum. Pay the 1,000 gold. What? And surrender your goods. Uh, I think we just pay the gold. Right? I don't really want to take the stat hit of, of staying in jail. You know? So, probably, probably best we just uh, pay the gold. It is the murder hobo fine. You know? It's expensive to be a murder hobo. All right, I accept this gold in payment of the fines and compensation. And now you're free to go. Okay. Well, it's good to know that a life if only costs 1,000 gold in Morrowind. <laughs> We're watching you. We're watching you. Good old murder hobo fine. Let's travel. What? Am I like, is it because they like know I'm a murderer? I mean, I'm trying to wait and... It's because I'm a foreigner. It's not because I'm a murderer. <laughs> well, that's annoying. I'll take that as a compliment. Let me, you know, use my orcish, that silver tongue, which isn't working. Damn it. Okay. Looks like we're walking, boys. <laughs> that did not go as planned. Being being a murderer has not has not behooved us. Uh I think there's another canoe play thing that we can try over here. Not now, I did my time, you know, I served my sentence, right? I should uh I should be treated as as such. I am reformed. <laughs> totally changed my ways. Let's not make this. Well, there's one over there that we can try. If I have to break out the, you know, money bags, do the 100 gold, I will. But, you know, let's let's avoid that if we can, right? I need I need some money because now we're now we're running low because I had to pay those fines, which is not ideal. Well, there's there's a canoe right there. I'm gonna hop over there. So I'll get the 500 from this quest, but you know I need to do some more action after that. Seth, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for stopping by and chatting. Quick, Outlander. It's been a pleasure. Uh, let's go to four and quarter. Why did that one like me? Why did the other not like me? What the heck? <laughs> one canoe person likes me. Speak, traveler. Traveler. All right, let's head back up now. Let's head back up. Back to the Fighters Guild to tell them of our murder. You know, man, we've we've like really sh shown our devotion, you know, to the to the Fighters Guild. Now, I we if we don't get an advancement from this after murdering, going to jail for them, I am I'm I'm gonna be livid. I will not stand for this. I'll become a mage. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. None of that mage treachery here. Canoeing is hard work, man. It is. I agree. Should actually get some work done. I'll check on you later. Shout out to Shelby for the plug. Yes, of course. Thank you for ch checking in, man. Best of luck on your studies, on your work, whatever it may be. 
you know, Greetings just keep Lord. crushing what it. Can I do for you? And may the odds be ever in your favor. And how are you? For the coming finals. Can I help you? All right, ripped orc. We did it. We have taken care of Adraria Vandacia. Here's your 500 septums. And I have more orders for you. Okay, advancement. Boom. Thank you. Okay. It, you know, at least we're getting some credit for murdering and going to jail for the killed. <laughs> your devotion is noted, and you are now a warder. Awesome. Well, let's get those orders. One of the magistrates have been giving the Fighters Guild trouble. I don't want the Fighters Guild to have any more trouble from Rufinus Aleius. Your journal has been updated. Uh, he's been giving our client trouble. Go to the Grand Council in Ebenhart and kill Rufinius, and this 1,000 septum bounty is yours. Sweet. I, feel I will I do that. Truly share with you. Are... I will most certainly do that. <laughs> yes? A 1,000 septum bounty. The only problem is, if, if he's in the Grand Council, I'm assuming he's around guards yes. and whatnot. How do we handle this monster? How do, how do we handle this, uh, if I can train an axe? How do we handle our quarries continuously being in, like, these really busy places? Not now, So what do you want? Head on. Jeez, oh, everybody hates orcs. Pro tip, if you're playing Marvel, don't be an orc. Everybody's just... <laughs> everybody's just giving you hell at every turn. Although I guess that's all outlanders, but... I don't know why the Red Guard was giving us giving us crap, man. We're from the same place. Uh, where do we need to go again? Let me let me just double check before we start teleporting. We need to go to Ebenhart. What would be the best way to get there? Actually, oh, did we freeze? Oh no, second crash of the stream. Uh, I guess your speech checks, you you have to hope your speech checks actually work, yeah. Watch your step. Oh, we didn't freeze. We just had like a lag. It just works. Uh, hey, at least that time it did work, you know. At least that time it did. It came back. Ebenhart. What's the best way to get to Ebenhart? Probably by a boat, so... I guess we just go, actually, the best thing to do would just be to go down and uh, grab a boat. Yes. King Silva 82 with the big old smile. What's up? Welcome to chat. I hope you're having a great day. Up. We're just doing some fighter skilled quests in here. Murdering innocent people in public. Totally normal. Uh, did I get that skull trap? So, skull trap? Oh my gosh. I've been, I've been playing too much magic. Uh, yes, I think we have two. Let me double check. Uh, cast once. Soul trap on target. We have two yes we have two thank you thank you for keeping me honest Lonnie keep me on target I am I am definitely the kind of streamer that is as <laughs> it gets more invested in in the chat than uh, in the uh, in the actual game sometimes uh, guilty I know hello Eastern I don't know how to say the end of your name, but welcome, <laughs> Eston. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to Morrowind. We're about to go to Ebenhart and uh, try and kill someone in the Grand Council. So we're going to hop on this boat down yonder. Look at these beautiful trees, man. It, Morrowind graphics overhaul really does a number for the landscapes I do have to say as, as I mean as well as the skybox like that's pretty crazy uh, chats half the fun where else am I going to splurge a bunch of useless Elder Scrolls facts exactly I'm the same way man I am the same way like Charles the plant speak traveler where else where else can I talk to people about Charles the plant you know <laughs> I'm, I'm paranoid because we had that uh, freeze so I'm gonna save and then now we'll take the boat. I always ca cr if I'm gonna crash, I always crash on travel. I always do the, the do the panic save right beforehand. 
Greetings. Greetings. Is this the Grand Council? No, this is the East Empire Company Hall. Okay. South of Warehouse. Course, what uh, Grand Council must be the main building over yonder. Keep those facts coming. Yes, please. Monster, you are among the correct company to be fewing. Fewing. Spewing. A English is hard. <laughs> spewing Elder Scrolls facts. It's the Argonian mission. That's the Skyrim mission. Was there a perp tree in there? <laughs> I jest about Skyrim, but I do love it. I do love it. I almost played... I know. Terrible thing to say. I almost played Skyrim today. Don't get too mad. I didn't know. I made the right choice. Did you know that the only reason orcs are a playable race in Morrowind is because one of the endings of Daggerfall? No, I did not know that. Here's the Grand Council. This is a terrible place to murder someone. Uh, first playthrough. No, it is. It is not. Um, I've I've played a lot of Morrowind. It's my first playthrough in some time, though, King Silver. I will I will concede that. It's probably been about half a year. <laughs> uh, wooded arch door to Ebonheart. No. Okay. Who are we looking for? Rufinus Elias. If you bring the totem of Tiber Septum. To King Gortwag and Daggerfall, the orcs become intelligent. Oh, and all of the Daggerfall endings are canon all at the same time. Wow, that's crazy. That's some Zelda stuff right there, with all the all the timelines being, you know, correct. King Silver, are you a Marwyn fan as well? Uh, it's a matter of trust, and I don't trust you. Okay. Well. Nobody likes me, probably because I'm an orc. Uh, let me let me rest, get my stamina back up, and try again. My time is so this guy had a little more disposition, so let's try him. It's a matter of trust. Oh my gosh, do I have to really cough up gold to this guy? Do it. I I really don't want to spend any more gold because we're so low. Yes, orc. I may just look around. I'm going to look around for a second, and if I can't find him after looking around for a little minute, then then I'll you know, I'll, I'll bribe it up. I'll pay it up. What was that? Speak freely, friend. That's the duke. That's Ferris. Um, Rufinus. Don't trust me. Stogram, are you interested in running an errand for me? Well, you can never have too many quests, <laughs> so let me see. I need someone to deliver this letter for me. It's important that it gets to Jazahir at the East Empire Company as soon as possible. You should also have something for me in return, which I'll need you to bring back. I mean, we can do that on our way out, yeah. Here's the letter, get it to him as soon as possible, okay. You want something, friend? An easy enough quest. Yes, of course, current run, level 20 Dark Elf Rogue, nice. And by rogue, I'm assuming, like, uh, are, we, are we talking, like, marksman? Are we talking, like, daggers? Short blade? Sneak? I do love all the builds that are in this game. My, my last playthrough was a pure 100% Altmer, Altmer mage. So I'm trying to do the exact opposite of this with this playthrough, which is two-handed, heavy armor, orc, and, you know, just... Just be a hellion instead of a scholar. <laughs> oh, man. That's back. That's another tower. The Imperial Commission. Okay. I'm looking for someone with a name that sounds Roman. Keep moving. Found him. <laughs> All right. How do I kill this man? In the middle of the Imperial oh, mission. Where did I put that? All right, Kitty, Monster Kitty, we're gonna try the taunt. We're gonna hope it works. I'm gonna save, right, right now. Let's get that disposition up.
All right, let's try to entice fighting. What are you talking about? I thought we were friends. Nope. Fight me. You're wasting your breath. Oh, I don't think it's working. Go away. Oh, no. Our speech checks are failing. You are pathetic. Dang it. Well, we tried. We tried, monster. Uh, I'm currently doing a Khajiit Pure Mage, and I'm playing Tamriel Rebuilt. Okay. Very nice. Oh, it seems we had our third crash of the stream, so let me... I have it I have it hotkeyed. Pull Morrowind right back up. We're already there. <laughs> good, old, good old stable Bethesda you want games. Friend? It, it just works, guys. It just works. All right, we got to kill this guy. Oh, gosh, this is going to be painful. Die, scoundrel! Okay, her friend isn't helping. That's a good sign. I feel like I'm killing Dr. Phil. Kind of looks like him. <laughs> Die, Fetcher. Axe to 58. Excellent. Wait, it wasn't a crime. Die, scoundrel. Yeah, exactly. Why? Okay, why was why was this bounty not a crime, but the other bounty was a, was a, you know, a vile offense. Why is everything in this game so quotable? Because it's just a great game, man. That's why. Hey, well, that that's the first bounty that we've done that we haven't had to go to jail for. <laughs> so, things are looking up, everyone. Things are looking up here in Bardenfell. Alright, let's uh, head back to the Fighters Guild. I could Keep just moving. on CV intervention, but I feel kind of... feel kind of lame doing that, you know, with the bolt, boat right here, so... We're just gonna we're gonna take this the scenic route. <laughs> so what do you want? You want something, friend? Do you want something, friend? Uh, yes. Let me. You know, I feel I feel left out. Where's my torch? Oh, I destroyed it. Cause remember, I jumped in the water. <laughs> uh, you would love to join the Marag Tong. Their assassinations are done in public, and they give you writs that basically make it legal to murder people in broad daylight. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. I'm thank you, thank you, actually, for rem reminding me about the Marag Tong monster, because I know I mentioned that earlier, but we forgot to join. Go ahead, stranger. I'm a fisherwoman, not a gondolier. Okay. <laughs> well, Speak freely, you right? do have the travel uh, written under your name, so don't believe you. All right, back to the foreign quarter we go. What do you want? I want money, power, an enchanted axe, please. Gosh, we, you know what we should have done, guys? We should have just, we should have just taken Cloud Cleaver. I was too nice, you know. I let him have Cloud Cleaver. We would have, we would have had so much easier time in those Daedric ruins if I had just freaking taken it. God. Milo's girlfriend. Uh, Milo? I am not familiar. I mean, it, it, at least we have a spark axe, though. Right? At least we have something axe-like is enchanted. <laughs> we, can, we can use for enemies now. Do I have any artifacts? No, not yet. We've we've just been uh, we've just been doing Fighters Guild mainly, uh, trying to get my my barbarian roleplay on. Basically, we've done some main questing as well. The, the beginning of the stream was mostly main quest, uh, lots of exposition. But but now we're just doing Fighters Guild, and we're probably going to go join the Marag Tong here in a second. Just, just trying to be a strong arm, you know. Let's grab a save. Head into the guild. Well, friend, we're I may need to repair my equipment. How are we looking? 
Uh, yeah, I probably need to grab. Probably need to grab some repairs here. And how are you? King Silver. It's your favorite artifact in the game. If we're on the topic of artifacts. I am a big f fan of. I don't know if it's considered an artifact, but True Flame. Oh my gosh, that sword. Let's go. Uh, steel boots, right islands, iron greaves. I guess just all of it, actually. Even if it's in our inventory, we're about to get a thousand gold here. Good work. I hope the guards didn't give you any trouble. Here's the thousand septums. Thank you muchly. How about some advancement, boss man? Your devotion is, in, in, is not in question, but you require more experience. Redouble your training and practice your skills to become the warder. Okay. Uh, does that mean we're roadblocked, right? We're roadblocked by our stats, correct? Ah, oh, Savior's Hide. Excellent choice. Mayrun's Razor and Mosique Cla Clavius Vile. I don't think I'm familiar with that one off the top of my head. Mayrun's Razor and uh, Savior's Hide. Classics. Uh, I don't have any orders for you. Talk to Hardheart the Guildmaster. Hey, we're moving up in the world. If he doesn't have any orders for you, check with Adis, uh, Hrundi, and Sadrith Mora, or the old Guildmaster and Aldrun. Well, we did that. We asked that old Guildmaster. And he gave us a quest that completely ruined us. <laughs> Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Oh, there we go. Stamina. Stamina recovered. Gotta get the water. So we are off to find the Guildmaster now. Although we can also go to Sadrith Mora, because we're still a pretty, you know, we're still a pretty low level. We've been we've been getting a ton of quests, but you know, not not the highest level I've ever seen. Level three. What may I do for you? Reg, oh say. Where do we find the guild master? Does anyone know? Well, friend, what Is he here in Vivek? I have not done the fighter's guild in some time. Greetings. May fortune be with you. Um, I guess I should have asked our our old buddy old pal over here. I'm going to go do that. Of course. What may I do for you? My last playthrough, I did, I did uh, only Mage's Guild and then House Halalu because I was pure Mage. Um, orders with let's find this guy, Soaring Hardheart, the Guildmaster. Are you not gonna tell me where he is though? Well, that is quite unfortunate, but we will, we will make do. You know, we will make do. Yes. Looking for Hardheart, the Guildmaster. Anytime, friend. I'm right here. Oh, <laughs> whoa! We just jump. Ooh, that guy has some strong pecs, man. We were just jumping all over him. Um, we need to drop some of our like random loot. I'm also gonna take some of these restore health potions because we did burn a lot in that other dungeon. I take the restore fatigue too. All right, back here. Let's go to the Mages Guild. Let's go to Sadrith Mora okay, and see the Guildmaster there. Get some, uh, get some more quest in action. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Trebonius, my bald uh, friend who accepts fake job applications and then asks you to find who's the fake one. <laughs> Just do your homework, man. If it looks counterfeit, it's probably counterfeit. <laughs> yes, what is it? I think the Guild of Fighters is right up here on the next story. So let's head up. Maybe wrong, though. Maybe below us. Yep, yeah, it's below us. I knew the Mage's Guild and the other were close, though. It's the Imperial Shrine. That's just Wolverine Hall. Donde está el Fighters Guild? There it is. Well, friend, what brings you here? You look like you can give me some orders. I mean, he's got one pauldron on, looking great. Got the ring mail. 
Looks like a man who can give some orders. Uh, normally I wouldn't give any orders to someone as inexperienced as you, but if you'll fill up to it. L Lariana Macrina wants us to provide some assistance with her expedition in the Dwemer Ruins of Nechurdums. Go to Nechurdums, a Dwemer Ruins far south of Sadrith Mora, and talk to Lariana Macrina. Help her clear out the necromancers and report back to me. I'll mark the position on your map. No awesome. I won't hurt you. Let's see what we got. Oh man, that is pretty far away. South of Sadrith Mora, very south. Uh, I would like to point out. All right, and so we're off. Off to Nechurdums. Although I would love to find a pawnbroker or something around here. And uh, is this like a boat dock? <laughs> okay, I was, I was like, this is a this is a terrible place to leave the building. <laughs> I guess it's not as bad if you came in a canoe or something. Sailed over from Vivek. Here we go. Play Assassin's Creed here for a second. There it is. My my that was the best Ezio impersonation you're gonna get from our heavy armored orc. <laughs> Just a couple jumps. And he, of course he has to start above what he's jumping to. Not not very many ups. Man, I miss this play. This this makes me reminisce on my on my mage playthrough because I believe House Halalu's uh, House Halalu's like main spot is near here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Off in the distance, that that globe-looking thing. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And of course here, just drop some random stuff. Ooh. It would probably be to my interest next time to make sure that I have full stamina. Oh, she liked it. You know, at least she liked it, right? <laughs> we did we did some good today. Go nice. ahead. Nice squid helmet, sir. Looking, looking fine. Ooh, so what? What's the best way to get here? I'm trying to think. I feel like it'd be easier to get there from Surin than from uh, some, from Sadrith Moor, because we got all this open water, and we don't have water walking. So that would be an that would be an uh, an interesting problem. House Telvani, perhaps. I am not House Telvani. Is this what that is, though? Is this House Telvani and not Halalu? I may have misspoken on that one. But, and now I need to double check. <laughs> also, welcome, uh, Tragrim. Welcome to chat. Hope you're having a great day. It was Telvani. Good catch. Good to catch. My, my, yeah, like I was saying, my last mage character spent a lot of time there. Uh, this orc, not so much. Not, not really his scene. <laughs> we don't, we don't do well with books, reading, talking to people. We're really only good at, uh, taking a lot of hits and also giving a lot of hits. Imagine playing a Khajiit character in House Telvani. How awkward would that be? Yeah, that would be very awkward. Why? Why? And, oh, especially when you become guildmaster? Are you kidding me? A, a, if a Khajiit kills uh, Bulvin Venom, you know? That'd be crazy. And Telbranora, probably. Alright, I'm gonna take your word for it. We're gonna try Telbranora, King. What do you want? I wish they would have named me Hortator. Too late now. Yep. <laughs> Away. I'm going. You don't have to tell me twice. Tell Brenora, yeah, that's pretty close. It's it's more land, which I like. So I think how we go at this is go to this island, go to this island, hop over here, and then hop over there, because we're trying to avoid the water pretty much as much as possible. 
I will look around town first though. Maybe maybe we can get like a potion of water walking or something. That'd be that'd be easier. That'd be a little easier. Mm -hmm. I don't think Telbernor is very big, so we may not have the best of luck. It's worth a shot though. Well, here's the traitor. Here's here's a here's worth it. What do we have? Cephalopod Helm. No. Silver War Axe. No. What do we have here? Chest of Fire. Fire sh Shield 3 points for 5 seconds. That's not good. I do want more torches. I'll just buy all three. Frost Shield, Reflection, Cyrodiilic Brandy. Disease, Swift Swim. That could be, that could be useful. Uh, Talvani Bug Musk. That is actually very useful as well. I'm going to take that too. Can never have too much personality. Am I right? There we go. Can never have too much personality. Talvani Bug Musk. Easiest way to get there. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, not look at the very immersive, incredibly immersive, missing armor textures. <laughs> Oh, it was spoiled? Oh, no. Was it really? Oh, they're both spoiled. No. All of our... Po oh, the, a lot of these have spoiled. Dang it. Oh, well. I got too excited, monster. You know me. Alright, let's just, you know, let's start trekking. I think we're about as prepared as we can be. I, I'm worried about... I'm worried about the necromancers. Uh, it will still work. Doesn't it just work uh, less? It's like a, a shorter duration. Am I remembering that correctly? Oh, got a mud crab. That's free experience points right there. Have at thee. <laughs> Fetcher. There we go. Don't need any mud crab meat. I'm good on that. I prefer to eat the skin of elves. As an orc. Skin of elves. Elf liver. Very nice. Altmer is a delicacy from where I come from. Oh, okay. Nixhound Brigade. Get away. There we go. There's a cliff racer up to our right as well. Hopefully, hopefully he just stays away. Oh no! <laughs> okay, he's right on us. <laughs> Never mind. I was slightly hopeful. Ah, die, fetcher! Oh, level up, sweet. Oh, come on! You never should have come here. One more. There we go. I'll take the plumes. Free money. Uh, so you eat your own kind. Well, when you put it that way, if we're going deep, you know, ooh, would it... <laughs> am I okay with this character being somewhat of a cannibal? Not completely a cannibal, but like 50%. <laughs> I think I'm okay with Adamo. He kind of looks like he'd be that kind of guy. Kind of looks like he'd be that kind of guy. What do you think, Tragrim? What do you think? Also, good call on that lore. I'd totally, you know, totally forgotten the connection there. Although it does throw me off, you know, because I'm so used to... Well, not so used to, but everybody is so used to other fantasy worlds. You know, when we're saying dwarves, we're not talking about bearded dwarves. You know, we're talking about the dormer, <laughs> which look a lot like elves. And no ale. And there's not even any dang Dwimmer ale. And we call them dwarves. That's true. You know, at least we're not a Bosman, right? <laughs> I don't have a lot going for me. But I'm not a Bosman. So that's okay. 
local Bosmer explains how ritual cannibalism is totally justified. More at 11. <laughs> I would like to hear the justification. Oh, no. That was, uh, interesting, to say the least. I feel like we may have a dungeon right here. So let's rest until healed. Grab the level up. Strength, plus five. Amazing. Endurance, yeah. Mm. Do we put it in speed, or do we put it in personality? Both are pretty easy to, you know, artificially... Adjust late game. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, personality. Yeah, I guess we'll just put it in personality. Right? Let's do that. Let's hop into Moia. Oh my god. What is this? What is happening? We walked into some crazy stuff right here. Uh, they believe that according to the Green Pack, eating vegetables is strictly forbidden, since the god Yifri lives within every leaf. Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Oh, Bone Walker. Bone Walker alert. Alright, there we go. One down. Alright, here's time for our enchanted... One-handed to shine. There we go. Alright, let's see what's down here. Monster Kitty. Thank you for the lore. Oh, we have a dead body. Common shirt, common shoes, common pants. Just coming in with a chitin spear. That's a, that's a mistake, my friend. Let's burn the one that we've already been using. That does actually affect their cuisine pretty heavily since, yes, they do eat their dead. Oh my gosh, really? As gross as that is. Wow, I did not... I <laughs> learned a lot about Bosmer today. Bone meal, ectoplasm, doesn't really excite me. Let's see what's over here. I'm wondering if we have a resident necromancer up top. We, you know, usually when you come across a building like this, there's a Dunmer. And he's upstairs. And he's reviving dead people. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Oh, have at thee. Bone Walker, part two. The Bone Walkening. Soul Gym, there we go. We were looking for those earlier today. So we finally have one we can use. Very nice. Trap some souls. Do some enchant later. Let's grab a let's grab a quick save right there. Ooh, that's trapped. Let's get the probe. Um, there it is. I'm not super confident. Our security skill is 14. <laughs> Yeah, it's not looking good. Dang it. Okay, let's try the other one. Oh, we got it. Sweet. Got our first try on that one. I'm going to put this one on just so we can hold the torch. Oh, we got double ghost in there. Oh, baby. Torch. Freaking stronghold. Light up the sky. Uh, turns out it's Sharn Gramuzgab at the top. Sharn Gramuzgab. I resisted the magic. Excellent. Good old Sharn Gramuzgab. Ooh, die. Ooh, there we go. Nailed it. I mean, I guess I'll take it. I didn't take the others. I'm not sure why. It's, it, it only weighs point one. Oh, this scares me. That scares me, the uh, slow burn. Ooh, that is definitely better than our steel, right? 
So the slash is better, the chop is worse, the thrust is way better. We're gonna leave that there. Save the carry weight for more interesting things. Welcome to the clan, Dwarven Battle Axe. Oh god, we just... <laughs> I didn't even check! Oh no! Oh, we're probably dead here. I can only imagine, right? Let's pop a scroll of vitality. Maybe we can just tank, th tank through it. <laughs> okay, we've, we've kind of stagnated now. That's that's good at least. If anyone sees that health bar <laughs> in the in the bottom left, not looking too good. Poison two points. Oh man, this thing has a. Oh god. Can we tank through the poison and the bone walker? Okay, we've got it so far. Okay, do I have a cure poison? Let me let me check real quick. I may actually. Uh, rising force, strength, health, fatigue, jump, visibility, fire shield, speed. Spoiled cure poison. It's worth a try. There we go. Spoiled potions. They work. Well, m m King, you know, may have may have a. Uh, Maybe a little undiagnosed case of uh, dyslexia. <laughs> could be. Could be the cause of that. Could be the cause. Oh. Here we go. Oh, I knew it. It was a freaking... It's these freaking Dunmer up here. Oh, Greater Bonewalker. Look out. And we're immediately over encumbered. I think we have a restore strength, though. Do, do. Ooh, we just need to kill this guy, and then and then we'll deal with the other thing. Oh, die, die, die! One more. Okay, there we go. Oh God, our strength is sixteen. Gotta love greater bone walkers. Do I have any other restore strength on me? Cure paralyzation, common disease, blight, grief. Restore speed, luck. I may have, uh, may have messed myself up right there without the, uh, without the restore strength. Or I guess, uh, only having one, I should say. All right, do we have any in the scrolls? Let me check the scrolls. Soul Trap, Weakness, Define, no. Boys, gotta love it. Do we have any way to boost it? We're so far out. Oh gosh, it feels bad to Divine Intervention out. It feels bad, we may have to do it though. We may have to just swallow our pride. Divine Intervention out, drop all our stuff. Go to the Imperial Shrine, and then and then come back out. I think that's what we have to do. Uh, I can't leave all my loot. As much as it pains me, uh, let me grab a save just in case we think of something on the way. But we will divine intervention. Not the most ideal turn of events, but there have been worse, you know. Definitely have been worse. Stripped down to our orc, you know, birthday suit. Go, uh, go to the temple real quick. Alright, what do we have that's heavy? It's probably all these potions. All these torches, actually. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of these. It's all these cheap ones. One and a half pounds each. How does a how does a bottle even weigh that much? Alright, one more. Two more. There we go. <laughs> Alright, the pile. Let's go get healed up. 
Speak freely, friend. Speak freely, my friend. Restore attributes. Do you sell restore strength just so that we can preempt this? Uh, health potion. Nope. Man. That's one of the hardest ones to find, and it's like the most necessary, which is is very upsetting, right? Uh, fatigue, resistance, health, agility, endurance, luck. No, I don't think this guy has it either. Oh, there's a cheap one. We'll buy all three. I think that's the best we can do, everyone. I think that's the best we can do. Yeah, how worse? Dead, exactly. <laughs> That's the only way it gets worse. It's just dying. Just dying. I'm a long way. You know, at least at least we were right by Sadrith Mora, so... That's nice. Oh, there you go. A little, a little sneak peek there. <laughs> of, our, of our good old Stogram. Just, just getting dressed. Nothing to see here. All right, take two. <laughs> Maybe there's some spells. Ooh, but see, see, King. I'm trying to do a no spells run. Right. I'm only trying to do scrolls. That's the only problem. Speaking of scrolls, let me let me actually double check that guy real quick. Make sure he didn't have any. Uh, any good ones. I, I'm... No, no scrolls. Because my last character was complete mage, like I, I mentioned earlier, so I'm trying... I'm trying to put the restraint on myself to never use a spell that isn't a scroll or something a, you know, typical non-magic person could... could use. Which makes for an interesting challenge. You know? Let's see if some of these merchants... There is an alchemist in this town, so let's check the alchemist and see... Um, you know, see if he has any other restore strength spells that... Or, I'm sorry, potions that we can grab. Before we attempt the journey again. Hey, at least we got it. We, we did get some good loot from that, though, so it wasn't... You know, it wasn't all bad. Speaking of which, I wonder if we can just dump some of these uh, gems here get rid of all of a, all of the random random kind of junk we've accumulated I don't need nine torches those are pretty heavy there we go can any of this else go I can get some some dwimmer coins out of my inventory So King Silver, the the rogue. What uh, what kind of what kind of build do you have outfitted right now? Steel claymore, a steel tower shield. What do we need? We need iron. You know, I think I think we're just gonna find something better in the Dormer Ruin. So I don't want to jump on the iron, uh, the steel armor yet. I don't think we need it just yet. It's gonna head over to the alchemist. I think they're over here, if I remember correctly. Let's go to local. Is that them right there? Or is this? Okay, they're right here. It's fair as hole in the wall. You are not an alchemist. Seared it like bandy friend, but you got some stuff. I need to start drinking those just so that I uh, remember their stats. <laughs> Here he is. He's facing this direction. All right, Anus, my friend. Tell me, where are these restore strength potions? We got restore health, fatigue, endurance. 
You know, Night Eye, that, that'd actually be kind of helpful. I like it when everything's lit up. There's exclusive restore strength. Awesome. Can we steal any others of those? Mark and recall. Okay, there we go. That's that's helpful as well. Cure poison. I'm going to grab a couple more of those. That should be fine. That should be good for now. Should be an okay haul. Your offer is refused. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, my friends. <laughs> try, try again. Alright, let's head back and, you know, make attempt number two. Do we want to mark this? Ooh, do we want to mark this as our spot? Could be a good idea. Oh, this guy's... He's freaking out, man. Somebody shut the <laughs> somebody shut the door on him. Poor guy. Let me let me help you out, buddy. Right. Out there you go. There you go. I haven't much time. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'll mark it. Um, do we have? Is there a major skill and stuff here? Yeah, there is in Wolverine Hall, so we can get anywhere from here. So it'll be an easy run back. Or no, let's not mark it. Because we have Divine Intervention. Actually, glad glad I remembered that. Because we can just Divine in Intervention back to Wolverine Hall anyways. No point in marking. Tell Brenora away. My time is precious, so make it quick. Uh, max speed, light armor, short sword. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that exploit. Nice, man. You know, so is it an exploit? I mean, it's a game mechanic. That's kind of how I felt with um, when I was playing my mage, doing a, you know, getting a fortify personality spell 100 for one second, <laughs> and then casting it, and then immediately getting all the best prices and everything in the game. It's kind of a mechanic, kind of an exploit. You know, it lives in this gray area. Love the emotes, by the way, man. Cool looking. All right, we're gonna, you know, <laughs> take two, everybody. Take two. Acrobatics to 28. Very nice. Clapped the mud crab. Look at a beautiful, beautiful day in Bardenfell. Got a lot of mushrooms around. Oh, evil afoot. I sense danger. Oh. Oh, I had, you know, I, I should have just guessed. I should have just assumed it would have been a <laughs> cliff racer. I should have just assumed. I was looking around on the ground, but we all really knew. We all really knew. -na 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 -na. So hopefully I can get to this place. Uh, oh, free XP. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Well, there's that's where we're, our adventure ended last time. That that building up ahead. That beautiful, beautiful building with uh, the worst enemy in the game. <laughs> so, so hear me out, right? Everybody hates on cliff racers. I think the real enemy here is greater bone walkers. Cliff racers are annoying, but you can kill them in one or two hits. Greater bone walkers, if you don't have restore magic. Your day is ruined. And, you know, nobody likes that. Yeah, zero strength. I'd, I'd rather fight a cliff racer than have zero strength. Dagoth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a strong, strong candidate king. Very strong candidate. Oh, don't blight me. 
Excellent. Oh, we got a couple, a couple of blighters around here. There we go. Yeah, Dagoth is an interesting fight, to say the least. I doubt that's it off in the distance. It seems too early to be able to see it. I don't know if that's just me, but it does seem a little early uh, to be able to see the ruins from this distance, but... Maybe so, right? Maybe so. Uh, where are you, Cliff? Oh, hello. What do we have over here? Is this a group of bandits, or is this a quest? Come at me, man. <laughs> you lost a full set of glass greaves. Oh, no, man. Well, the answer was bandits. <laughs> oh god, we're, we are getting swarmed. Unarmored to 11? How? <laughs> oh no. No, you don't. You only think you have me. There we go. They stood no chance. Uh, let's dispose of the corpse. Uh, Chitin. No, stop! What are you doing, spamming Sunder and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, just keening on the on the uh, heart of Lorcan, yep. Yep. No, stop! Why? I remember I totally cheesed him on Larry. I kind of just, like, hopped... You know, I casted the jump spell, and then I just, like, hopped by Dagoth and went right at it and, and took it down, basically, before he could do anything. It was such a cheese, like, it, it felt terrible, but... Saved the day. <laughs> and that's all that really counts, right? As long as you, as long as you save the day. Yes, dude, Sunder, oh my gosh, it is so good. It's so good. It's like a... It's like playing Morrowind on easy, you know, once you get Sunder. It's ridiculous. The Mallet of Justice. I'm gonna, you know, I'm trying to walk up this. Let's see if we can get it. Ooh, there we go. Look at these beautiful trees. This looks like... Anti-Lord of the Rings. No, it looks like Isengard. I feel at home. <laughs> I remember the quest in Skyrim uh, where the mage at the college... Arniel Gain, I think, tries to recreate the disappearance of the dwarves. Really? Really? I'm trying to remember that off the top of my head. Was that uh, for the, um... Was that for the college? He's gone! Oh! Yeah, he just disappears. There you go. Alright, uh... I think I'm deep enough in my playthrough to where I can take the uh, Dark Brotherhood armor and not feel like I'm cheating. Ear early game, I get it, and then it's just like an immediate injection of a thousand gold. It feels kind of cheap, so I try not to... I usually try not to sell that first set of Dark Brotherhood armor I get, but... We, we have a number of... <laughs> what, we're probably ten hours deep now? Maybe, maybe not ten. May maybe like nine hours on this character, so... Doesn't feel as cheap. And there's way more expensive stuff that we can find in, in the ruins, so. Certainly, certainly not a problem. Let's see if I can jump over this hill. Oop, there we go. It's the XP bird. Just levels up my axe. <laughs> oh. Can we get over this, or do we have to? Do we have to go the long way? That is the that is the question. Talos, Tiber Septim, welcome your liege. I am not annoyed, but I'm still just as impressed. Welcome to chat. <laughs> I hope your day is going well. Hope you're doing good. Kill that wild guar. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? 
Oh, do we have another roving group of bandits? That's the question. What brings what brings a former you know emperor into the chat? Good enough, matey. Awesome. Well, that's exactly what we want to hear. Am I about to die? That's the question. Let me grab a quick save in case we need to uh, save scum it. I'm about to die. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! That one mage one shot us. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad to hear your day's going well. Glad to hear it's going well. We're gonna, you know, we need to rethink this battle. Although I will, I can, I cannot say they one shot us because, in fact, we had half health, so it wasn't a one shot. It was, <laughs> it was a half a shot. I don't know. Oh man, how do we get through this? How do we get through this? We don't have any like fire spells, right? Fire shields here on potions. Mm. Well, I think we just take a restore health and uh, try and like leash them out like one at a time. Maybe try and get behind this hill. Just try and fight one. Oh, you have a ton of health. What the heck? You have a ton of health. Why is that? Oh, there's a potion of fire. Whew. Okay, that came in handy. Let's see if we live long enough for it to do its magic, though. One more, one more. There we go, okay. Oh, man. Made a barbecue rib foot long with coleslaw drenched in barbecue sauce. Man, that sounds amazing. Alright, grab a save, because we got through two. I am jealous. I actually haven't eaten dinner yet. That that's <laughs> well, I'm 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 pretty bad. It's getting pretty late here. I need a I get I get caught up in Morrowind, man. I I'm always like, I'm just gonna stream for two and a half hours and here I am, three to four hours later. I have you. I'm not sure what she's doing to us, but whatever it is, we don't care. Praise be to Akatosh and all the divines. Ouch! Alright, let's rest, get our fatigue back. You know, that went better than expected, right? That could have gone a lot worse. Uh, speaking of potions, uh, l let me let me grab my drink over here. It was actually below me, I don't know why I was reaching behind my uh, other screen. <laughs> it was behind me the entire time. The drinks we met are the ones that we had along the way. Yes, cheers, King Silver. Cheers, indeed. All right, let's check out where we are. So we're definitely close. We need to cross this little bay. Oh, XP crab. Thank you, sir. Um, Marsh Meadow. We're gonna pass that one on by. Yep, dr potions if you got them. I know it's Sunday night, but potions if you got them. Or, or I'm, I apologize, Lonnie, if you're in chat. I know it's Monday morning. I don't encourage drinking on Monday mornings usually, but you did say it's a national holiday in Australia, so. So, Lonnie, cheers if you got them. Cheers if you got them. All right, let's check out this ruin, and I may just do a little bit of it. Just kind of find my way in. And uh, then I may hop off. Because like I mentioned, I haven't eaten dinner yet. And uh, it's getting it's getting pretty serious. <laughs> I'm hungry. Orcs got to eat, man. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, a scamp over there. Oh. An orcish... Warrior such as myself. What do we? Oh shit! <laughs> what? I was gonna say to what do I owe the pleasure, but he's a unarmored friggin' idiot. Okay. Axe to sixty-two. You know, at least we're gonna get a lot of hits off of him because of the heavy armor. Ah, cheers, indeed.
We've got a very exciting battle here. He's doing no damage, so I don't want to waste my fatigue potions on him. That's the that's the only thing. That's the only reason I'm gonna let this drag out, because he's literally doing nothing to us. <laughs> Have we taken one damage? No, we haven't. That's kind of crazy. That's your armor now? You're using Orcish? Or you mean my armor now? Because that's definitely what's happening. Although it's medium. Ooh. I'm not crazy. It, is medium armor a minor skill at least, right? It is. Ugh. I'm trying to only do heavy. Can I carry it all? Yeah. Nope. Nope. What are the heaviest parts? The pauldrons, right? They're only slightly better than what we have now. They're so expensive, though. Ooh, what do we drop in its place? What do we drop? Iron Spider Dagger, you're getting cut. This is 4.4, that's 4.4, that's 8. So maybe we just drop the Curus, because that's 30. Drop one of the Pauldrons. Two of the Pauldrons. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Let me ask you a question. Uh, take it all, divine out, and sell it. That could be a good idea. Ooh, I can uh, actually... I forgot I had Mark. I forgot I had Mark. I'm used to not having Mark. That is a good idea. <laughs> I can Mark and then recall, right? Potion of Marking. Is it worth it, though, just for, for uh, Orcish Armor? You know what? I'll come back to it. Let's Let's do the dungeon first. Let's go, let's go get into trouble first. It, it won't go anywhere. And even if it is, you know, money, money isn't our biggest concern. We'll get plenty of that as time goes on. Good idea, though. Great idea, though, King. I, I honestly, honestly probably should have done it. <laughs> How can I help you? Nobody's perfect. Lariana Macrina. Well... We gotta get some, we gotta do some Dwimmer stuff. Let me grab a save here in case she dies, because I'm assuming we have to keep her alive. And then, I'll do a little bit of the dungeon, and then I'll probably, uh, probably end stream after maybe the first couple rooms or something. Don't wanna, don't wanna cut it too short. I have scoured the world over hunting a specific Daedroth with whom I had issues in the past. When last we battled, I struck her a blow so grievous, she fled via spell to her dark sanctuary. This is that place. The beast's name is Relvesu. She is weak and likely recuperating from the damage that I caused her. This place is well defended, and I need someone to watch my back. You can have whatever treasure you find in there. I seek only vengeance. I am ready. Let's go. Let me know if you require aid and watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Take point. Point out threats. Treasure's yours. Helvesu is mine. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we got an XP animal over here. Thank you for your service. Let's go find a Daedroth. Orc armor is your bread and butter. All right. So, uh, light, light armor? Light armor? Rogue? I mean, uh, medium armor, I'm sorry. Medium armor. What do we have here? Steel boots? That's not exciting. Dwemer sphere. There we go. Spider. Easy enough. Another spider. Man, it is dark in here. Let me grab the torch. Got some glass up there. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, what's happening? Why, why isn't he attacking me? It was only a matter of time. I cannot hit this one. I was hitting the other ones real easy. There we go. 
I've sold a 10 sets of orcs so far to fund your campaign. Awesome, man. They sell great. They do sell great. Hand that over to the creeper. Get some money. Ooh, a jinx sword. Those are great. That sells pretty good. 8 for 50. I think we can do better, though. I mean, we do literally have orcish armor sitting out there. Also, I don't want to die from this, so let me grab a... Let me grab a restore health real quick. I'm going to pick some more of these up when we return to the city, I think. Because we're running a little low on the restore health. Maybe we just finish this quest. I uh, got a spot up there. Some raw glass. That sells great. We're taking that for sure. I will leave behind a torch. I cannot place items in this container. <laughs> you're meaning I? You're telling me I can't stick a torch back into a mineral deposit? Come on. I thought I thought my strength was 72. Where's your campaign taking you so far, King? I know you said you're funding it with orc, orcish armor. What kind of a uh, kind of trouble have you found yourself in so far? Sphere at the ready. Dealing damage. Let me get the spider first. There we go. Just just in case. Don't want him to like stagger us or do something crazy. There we go. Easy. Easy money. Let's grab a rest. Get our fatigue back. I still love that etching. Thank you, Monster, if you're still in chat. Thank you for pointing that out. What that is. Oh, Centurion. Save. Ooh, God. He means business. He means business. Are you kidding me? Uh, scroll of healing. Oh, this one's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Whoo, okay. Uh, let's retreat and then <laughs> figure figure out what we're going to do outside. Worm God, that's right. Worm God. Okay, that, that wasn't very pretty. Wait, who are you? Oh, why aren't you... Why aren't you coming with me? Oh, it's a he she heals us. Oh, okay. I was wondering where our backup was. Oh god. Leave me alone. I am but a simple orc. Oh no. Oh no! Uh, mm, what do we try here? Let's do this. Let's get some, uh. Let's get some regen popping. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, she, she de aggroed, uh. de aggroed him from me just enough for us to get the, get the win there. Both Dwemer and Daedric alphabets are just transliterations of Latin. That is insane. I never knew that. That's that's deep, man. It does look great. It looks super great. It looks really cool. How many more ways can I say it looks awesome? <laughs> Dwarven Mace uh, Master Armor's Hammer. Ruby. Cool, cool, cool. Manage our inventory. What do we drop? I'm sure we have some potions that we don't really need. Fortified luck. Let's get that out of here. Common disease blight. That could be good. Poison. Poison. Po poison. <laughs> Poison's good. Yeah, I don't. I don't need the restore luck. Rising force. We'll keep that. Frost. We'll keep that. Keep all the rest of it. Exclusive luck. We'll take that just because it sells good. Good weight to gold ratio. Steel gauntlet. Steel left, steel right, iron left to the left. Money. 
drop the iron. Alright, it's trapped. Let's save. These always scare me. <laughs> I always, always get nervous. Let's try the probe on it, though. Let's, let's see. If... First try. I'm, I'm glad I thought about it. Uh, Dwarven left bracer. Okay, well. It's a lot better than our steel gauntlet. So we will switch that up. Make that change. Our fearsome weapon. Nordic Iron Helm. Is that better than Trollbone? Nope. Them orcs, or those those Nords, I should say. Those Nords make some uh, solid armor. Let's grab a save. The Nereverine Tribes mission. So time to roam. Nothing can kill my character now. Oh, no. There's no challenge anymore. There's no challenge. King, you're too good, man. Uh, the infamous Oblivion symbol is just the letter O in the Daedric alphabet, or ought. Let's try and uh, let's try and disarm one. Do you, can you like read Daedric? I'm curious, monster. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this one. Okay, we got it. We got it. Sweet. Uh, break out the unhinging. Let's grab a save, because we only have a limited number. Uh, isn't it a... Yeah, open 4260. What was that? Oh no, we're not... We're not succeeding on it. That's not good. Well, let's reload that save. I guess we can drag in. Uh, not the top of your head, you can't read it. No, but there's actually a mod for Marwind that changes all the text into Daedric, since that is the official alphabet of Marwind. Really? I, I never knew that. The more you know, man. There's gotta be a key around here, right? Huh. I mean, I can try those scrolls again. I just have to. I, I mean, I have to roll the, roll the top, roll the top of the line. Can't roll anything underneath it, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna look around for a key. I, f I feel like there could be one somewhere. There's some gold. Let's go back to this main room, see if there's anything we can find out here. Dwarven War Axe. Well, we like two-handed. Uh, unless we are doing the enchant stuff. Goblin, no, no, no. Raw ebony, take the fire salts. Hmm. No key. Puzzling. Indeed puzzling. Steam Centurion. It wasn't on him. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's walk back over there, and if it's not, then we may pick this puzzle up back up on the next episode. <laughs> I'm really hungry now. I gotta go eat eventually. It's like 11 o'clock here, yeah. Woo. Oh boy. And I bet our our quarry, I bet, is right beyond it. Well, I think that's a good stopping point. We'll, we'll pick this puzzle up. I'm probably, if I have to, just going to mark this spot, Divine Intervention out, go get a higher spell to uh, unlock the door, and then, you know, solve it from there. So, everyone, it has been a pleasure. If you are in chat, if you watch, stop by. If you're watching this on YouTube later, thank you so much. You have all been amazing. Monster, Lana... Lana, you're very welcome. It is, you know, it's an absolute pleasure. Awesome viewer. Great talking to chat to everybody. Um, if you like what you saw, you know, feel free to drop a follow. And I hope to catch you on the next one, guys. Whew. Lot, lots of Marwin today. This has been The Coffee Nut. And I'm out. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>